Okay, looks like we're recording. Welcome back, everybody. We're going to be continuing Pokemon Black and White 3. We had some technical difficulties getting set up here, but we're all good. I was trying to level up the Zorua. Looks like there's an item there. And unfortunately, I had a crash when I was um, about to heal up and go to the gym. It wasn't actually the game's fault, though. It was really weird. My microphone got unplugged, and for some reason that caused, like, the everything in the crash, and I had to restart the stream. Yo, Challenger. Chantal may look like a bookworm, but she's got serious knowledge of ghosts. It's gonna be tough without my advice. Let's see, ghost Pokemon don't like being hit by other ghosts. Dark-type moves are super effective, too. Sure. I've got it to level 14. It should be okay. Ghastly's there, but I'm probably sticking with Zoru instead. Oh. We have trained with the spirits. Can you even damage our Pokemon? Were they invisible? I think they were. Oh, it's a Hex Maniac. It's the old-style Gen 3 one, though, with the Witch Hat. Oh, not Yamask. Yamask is a tank. I can't kill it with Pursuit. But, ah, uh, yeah, it's got that. It's funny, because when you go back to the mansion to level up, Yamask gives the lowest amount of experience, but it has it takes the most hits, annoyingly. Drifloon usually dies in one or two hits, and it's good. Okay, go for it. Oh, boy. What about Gen 6 Hex Maniac with the Gen 3 Witch Hat? Well, I like big poofy witch hats, so that would be nice. I think I plan on using it, yeah. I usually can't use um, Zorua or Zoroark in, in Unova, because remember that in Black and White 1, it was an event Pokemon. You had to trade over from Gen 4 event legendary beasts, like the shiny ones. I don't know why they did that. Pokemon is so weird with those decisions. Um, Ghastly. We're just gonna spam Pursuit. Hopefully it'll get a better dark move later. Actually, what would be stronger for, um, right now? Bite or Pursuit? Are they the same power? At least Bite has the flinch chance. Yeah, it is in black and white, too. There's a free one you get, but I don't remember. Isn't that, like, late game? X-Maniac Sylvia defeated. Oh, I've been beaten. Ghost-type Pokemon cannot be harmed by normal-type attacks. Okay, I can see her there. I have been a disciple of Chantal since I was young. There's no way you can beat me. You can get it as uh, soon as you get to Driftvale City. Okay. Sounds cool. Oh, pardon me. Oh, my voice doesn't sound weird. Um, I think I should just mention this right quick. I actually had a bad health flare-up last night, so that's why I'm starting so late. I wasn't able to get to sleep until, like, 6 a.m., which was awful. Okay, this is fine. Usually I stream uh, way a few hours before this time, but it's all right. We're still gonna have a fun stream. I, um, it's actually a holiday here in Canada, so nothing's open. I have nothing else to do. So I figured we could still just do a stream and go a little late. I already planned to take tomorrow off, and I was gonna go out to dinner with a friend, so... We, get, we can just get some work done. Frillish looks cool. Hang on. Is there only one Frillish sprite, or... Oh, wait! Uh, that's a girl, so it looks like they can only fit data for one of the Frillish. Okay, so only the blue one's used? There we go. Yeah, the blue one is normally the guy. Lenora was defeated. Okay, I admit it, I'm just a fan of her books. I need more guidance from Chantal if I want to get stronger. She should hurry up and put out the next book already. Don't rush her. She's trying her best. You want her to, like, to put out some half-assed book instead? Jeez. Now let's heal. And I should make sure I save, like, a lot more, because now I'm paranoid I'm gonna, like, everything's gonna crash again. Excellent. 
join the Discord. Azure Key's pretty helpful if you need anything, can ask the dev. Alright, thank you. No problem. I was wondering about the shiny odds. I don't remember if that was listed on the Poke Community page. That Poke Community page, I'm flubbing my words here. Whoa! Aha! How can you defeat that which you cannot even see? Well then. You can reset the clock with down B at the title screen. Okay. By the way, when I was leveling up Zorua, I learned that, uh... Oh, that's a good-looking sprite. Makes good use of the highlights there. Um... I did learn that there's actually Wild Houndour outside of the town. However, I already have a Dark type and a Fire type, so... As much as I complain about not getting early Houndour in most games, I can't use it right now. Come on. Fire Spin. Are there actually encounters for, like, day, night, and morning, or are they all the same? Because I don't know if I really noticed a difference when it was nighttime at the very end of last episode. Sure, go ahead and plug our own Discord. Why not? Let everyone get some more Teddy Ears emotes. Zorua should level up around level 30, I'm pretty sure. That's what y'all were saying earlier. Aw, oh, protect. Here we go. Here we go. Attack missed. Don't you dare. Pursuit's never gonna activate for me. I mean, the secondary effect of doubling its power. That's never gonna go off. It's more of a thing that annoys the player. Nightshade. Come on. It's level 15, so it should give me something. 17. Faint attack, now that's what I want to see. Uh, let's get rid of, like, just Scratch. There's no reason to even keep Scratch, honestly. Especially with the physical special split, Pursuit is always going to be physical stab. You found my weakness. Hang on. Let me just double check. That is an increase in power, I'm pretty sure. Yep, power is 60, and it never misses. Now, that looks like all the trainers it just leveled up. I guess we can go ahead and try and fight her then. Let's just heal up at the center right quick. And then we'll go back to Petalburg Woods. I mean, no, wait. Petalburg Woods is the, um, is the, the, the audio track that plays there. So let me... But don't worry. It was Lost Lorn Forest. Hence why I find, found the fox there. There we go. Let's go see what she's got. I should be able to sweep her pretty easily with this little fox friend. I wonder if there's an extra trainer hidden up there. Nope. I was expecting one to be right here looking at me. Hmm... Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I'm working on a draft of my new novel. My name is Chantal. I used to be a member of the Elite Four. I moved to this sleepy little town to work on my writing, but I still run this gym in my spare time. Would you like to challenge me? I won't hold back. Alrighty, here we go. Maybe I can turn it up a tad. Leader Chantal would like to battle. Just a ghastly. She's holding back on us. She's not using her Elite Four team, of course. I can put Faint Attack at the front now. Let's do that. X. That hits a little bit, but okay. No problem. At the end of the day, this is still Zorua, so it's not exactly a tank. Thanks for the sub there, friend. Ooh, 304. Spirit Tomb. Uh-oh. That I can't super effective hit. However, we can do some... Ooh, that's a really good-looking sprite. Using the, the black lines in the middle there to make use of the limited colors was a really good idea. Let's go ahead and stun Spore and Leech Seed it. I could trade Zorua for my own, but Spirit Tomb's not exactly a Pokemon you want to casually use. It's more of a tanky Pokemon, right? 
Okay, you're probably gonna die, Roselia, but if you could just land the Leech Seed... Evaded the attack. No problem. Damn. This might be your ace, actually. Hmm. Let's let Tim Pole go in. Nope! Darn it. I accidentally hit the button again there. What a waste of a turn. I didn't land the Leech Seed, no. I could try and confuse it, or Mud Shot to lower its accuracy over time. This doesn't have Stab, though. Speed fell. Oh, right. No, sorry. It's Mud Slap that does that. Mud Shot lowers speed. Damn it. This is pretty strong for this point in the game, yeah. Okay, it's paralyzed. Let me see if I can just hit something with it here. With Ghastly. <laughs> no, I, I don't have Curse on this Ghastly or anything. This is just fodder. Lick it a few times. Sure. Then see if Pig Knight can take it out. This might be a problem. If I would have been able to land the Leech Seed, I probably could have, like, killed it by now. But it had to evade. The fact that it has priority as well is a problem. Lame wheel. Almost, just gonna hit one more. Keeps using Hex, but I'm not actually, like, even affected by anything. Oh, of course you get a crit. What? Ah, oh, damn it. I thought I had this in the bag, but Spirit Tomb put a wrench in that. Almost. Dude. Really? Really? Really now? Fully paralyzed. Fully paralyzed? Come on! Oh my god. I'm about to lose, and I feel cheated. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Well, let's see if I can get stay paralyzed for a few seconds while I do this. She's already used up all our heals, I think. Come on, I don't want a potion in battle here. Oh, yes. There's still a chance. The little fox that could. Now, what's next? Litwick. Can I one-shot it? Oh my goodness. The fox did it again. Amazing. Impressive. Your skills will make a great story. The spooky badge. I love spooky things. Do you know the benefits of the spooky badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you. Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it outside of battle too. Here, have this. TM Hex. Okay. It uses powerful ghostly magic to attack, and it doubles in power if the target's afflicted by a status condition. It rewards smart strategy with your attacks. My next story is about a young Pokemon trainer taking on the league. I wonder, how far will you go? Well, we're done with that. Second badge earned. Turn there. The Gen 2 running mechanic always feels weird because I get, like, stuck on things. Be healed again. Now I need to ditch the Ghastly and get out a Pokemon that can use Cut. Looked it up, shiny odds are normal crystal odds here, okay. So let's not expect to run into one. Okay. Take away this. The amulet coin. Yes, that's why I put Ghastly into the battle. The amulet coin. 
Sorry, Ghastly, we don't need you anymore. Ah, uh, can you learn Cut? I guess we're gonna find out. I don't think it can. If you can learn Metal Claw, you think it could cut something. But I might have to go in the forest and just catch something new for this, won't I? Oh, it can, nice. Sorry, Aaron. This is all you're good for now. Let's make a little save. Did I check out... Yeah, I checked out all the towns last time. Or all the houses in the town, I should say. The egg is being stubborn. Yes, it is. It'll hatch one day. Maybe. Now let's make some progress in here. Since we're in a forest... Could probably let uh, someone else take the lead. Eh, Pig Knight's already the highest level. I fought you. Are you ready? I am. Let's go. I can cut that tree over there since I can walk behind the, the top of the tree. Last Bridget would like to battle. Petty Lil. Petty Lil. Tillil, whatever you say it. Hit it with faint attack. Oh, look, you get to hit your leech seed. Fantastic. Petty Uwu. Petty Uwu is not a real name. It never will be. Ralts? Well, it's part fairy type now, right? So, this should be neutral. Or does it get fairy... Okay, yeah. I thought it got fairy-type on evolution, but Ralts has it entirely. Good thing I got Fane Attack now. This is great. Two forty. Zorua Glue level 19. Blech. What? I never even considered losing before going into battle. Of course. Antidote. I can't use Headbutt on any of the trees. Like, I can't interact with them, and... Aran has, like, um... Headbutt on it anyway, so... It's just not a mechanic in here. It's not surprising they'd remove it, even though it's part of base crystal, because... Like, Headbutt mechanics are really wonky. Setting them up for every tree in the, like, tree in the game would be a nightmare. Having lots of battles is the best way to raise Pokemon quickly. What is- oh, it's the breeder. The breeder has a broom. What, to like, <laughs> move like all the little stacks of hay out of there like a farmer? Hit it with that. I might be able to get to Zoroark soon enough, but I don't know about this episode. Paralyzed, can't attack. Oh, look, you got a berry. I make you happy, a little baby. Growth. Pop it. I need to use a paralyzed heal now, because I don't want to go all the way back. Shroomish. I'll let Pig Knight work its magic. Hold up, according to the, um, the badge list thing, the third gym leader is still Berg, so... I guess I'm gonna want Pig Knight to be stronger for that. Need my fire type. I'm sure as heck not gonna be able to really use, um, Roselia there either. Roselia was great for the first gym. It'll be great again once I can get, to get it to Rose Raid, but right now it's kind of underwhelming stat-wise. Your training method is great. I'm gonna copy it. What training method? I want to battle you again sometime. Come talk to me if you want another battle. Oh. You're not going to give me your number? Dialogue sounded like you were. Super potion. Nice. Okay. Please tell me I still have paralyzed heals. Antidote, ether. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, that sucks. Dude, I should have bought some. Hmm. 
For now, let's just put the pig up front. Imagine getting, like, um... Imagine getting <laughs> attacked by, like, a pig wrestler. Pig Knight looks so silly like that, doesn't it? Also, I realized something the other day. So you know how, like, dark-type moves is... They're called, like, the evil-type in the, uh... In the Japanese version. So apparently the reason moves, like, Bite and Crunch, be, like, went from normal-type to dark-type in Gen 2 is because biting is considered, like, an, a dirty... a dirty fight tactic. So, I guess, like, it makes a little more sense in Japanese. But once that was explained to me, I'm like, oh, that make that, that, that makes so much sense. Fighting is just a dirty, like, dirty tactic, that's all. I guess we can take you out. Lame wheel. Sucker Punch 2, yep. And, and we went over this last time, I think, but Night Slash in Japanese is, uh, essentially like a, like a reference to, like, street killing. Or attacking someone, like, in the, in the night while they're on the road. Miracle Seed. Okay, I can give this to Roselia. Not bad. It's good to hunt out all the items here for now. Oh, you know what I should do, actually? I should give the amulet coin to Pig Knight while it's up front. Miracle Seed. It's based on how samurai would test new swords on civilians. Dude, it's messed up. I know that, like, samurai are, like, a very interesting historical thing, because, like, growing up, you, you hear about them. They were supposed to be, like, these honorable warriors, but from what I understand, that's just a thing that the, the samurai would say to make themselves look better. But in reality, they were some of, like, the biggest, like, asses in Japanese history. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, I don't know. I don't know much about Japanese history, but it's just what I hear. Okay, there's another Yanma. Don't really need to repel. We can get the extra EXP here, because clearly I could need it. Things were almost bad during that Spear Tomb fight. Is it not like that or not? I'm not quite sure. Two thirty-one. Samurai were basically hired muscle for the upper class, right? Sort of like mercenaries. Okay. I cut the tree, but I didn't see where to go. Hang on, I'm gonna use a single repel so I can get over there and look, have a closer look where to go. So they basically just worked for the government. So, yeah, they're evil. <laughs> that's a- that's too easy of a joke to make. Ninjas are kind of a weird- always a weird thing. Sometimes, like, I have to remind myself that they were actually a real thing and not just something that cartoons did when I was growing up. Let's do that. Yeah, let's go over this way. Okay, I didn't go this direction. No, I did. Hold up. No, I go back here. I see. And that leads to you. Aha! Repels effect wore off. Use another? No, thank you. It's a little baby bug again. Flame wheel. Hit this thing with a wheel before it turns into one. I'm trying to just fix something on my chair here, but I'm trying to be very careful because I don't want to bump the microphone and make everything crash again. That would suck. What's this? What? Um... Okay, I get it's because they're Team Plasma. They're supposed to have, like, the, the face masks covering them. But when I look at their sprites, it looks like they both have beards. That's my immediately immediate assumption. Are you sure we're going the right way? Embossa City has got to be around here somewhere. Hey, there's someone behind you. Hey, you better not mess with us. I'll show you the power of Team Plasma. Dude, I was just going for a walk. 
Plasma Grunt would like to battle. A Woobat. Set him on fire. Ooh, ooh, bat. Never call it that again. I didn't even do anything. I was just walking and like, hey, kid, don't mess with me. And he sends out a woo bat. Even when I look at woo bat now, I still have to remind myself that uh, that's not an eyeball. It's a nose. It looks like an eyeball, though. Zubat. I think a lot of people assumed that was an eyeball when they first saw it. He talked a big game for only having a Zubat and Woobat. Really a whole lot of nothing there. 184. Oh, no way. Darn it, you were too soft. I'll show you how it's done. Can I just go? What's your problem? Plasma Grunt wants to battle. Oh boy, it's Ghastly. Unfortunately, my Dark Fox here is just a teensy bit uh, paralyzed, and I have no Paralyzed Heal. Actually, I probably have a Cherry Berry somewhere I could just pick out, but bleh. Enemy Ghastly has fainted. Purloin. I'll send it out. I'll kick that cat. Let's see how much progress I can make today. Perfect. Plasma Grunt was defeated. No, how can I lose? You lost because you were a loser. Come on, let's get out of here. You haven't seen The Last of Us. You're right, I haven't played that game. That's a one- Hang on, that's a grotto right there, isn't it? The trees are a little closer together there. This could be my chance to get something. Which reminds me, I don't think I found a single grotto last time. I probably missed one at the start. Yeah, look at it. Those trees are closer together. It's gotta be a grotto. Let's make a save and see what's in there. Hey, it's a hidden grotto. There's an ether here. Ah, oh, darn it. I was hoping for a Pokemon. Grottos are one of those things that are only in black and white, too, and I never really engaged with that mechanic because I never, like, noticed them. <laughs> I'm sure there'll probably be more cooler stuff done with them when I try, like, one of the Drayano hacks for a, a dex run sometime. I will do a full dex run of a Gen 5 hack at some point. The Pokedex size will be huge, but I think it'd be really cool to see all the animated sprites that way. Because usually, in most vanilla Yanova stuff, you only mainly see Yanova Pokemon. Especially in Black and White 1. Darn it. Let's do it. I'm gonna keep flame wheeling these chumps. That spirit tomb get like humbled me a bit. I need to get my level up. Now to be fair, I did have slightly higher levels before the game crashed before recording. I could just blame everything on that crash, what can I? Oh! I thought it crashed again. I had a heart attack, I swear. Yo, what are you doing here? What? Team Plasma? I don't know what you're talking about. I told you not to follow me. Why is everyone just getting in my way and getting mad about it? I'm trying to walk through the forest. Guess I'll have to teach you a lesson. Punk girl shows up in the forest and tells you she has to teach you a lesson. Well, Infer would like to battle. Well, you have a shiny Ralts. Okay. Are we playing Crystal Kaizo again? Where the rival just has all shinies. Everybody thinks they own this forest all of a sudden. She's flexing. The what? Okay. 
This is a chance for Ozelia to do something again. Dewat has like a weird smile. It looks like it has one of those emoji smiles, like the smug emoji. This is Hughes' theme from Black and White 2. It's plotting. Ooh, I didn't hit too hard with that, even with the Miracle Seed. But your only good attack is Bubble Beam. You don't even have a normal attack for me. So I guess I'm good to just kind of slowly kill you like this. Again, by the way, if you're wondering why Roselia has purple roses, it's because there aren't enough colors for Gen 2 in the palette to give it both red and blue roses, so the compromise is just make them both purple, which I think works. But it looks like the shiny one, because shiny Roselia has a purple rose and a black rose, which, by the way, like... Shiny Roselia and Rose Raid, definitely one of the best shinies in my opinion. That is such a cool color combination for that. There we go. Okay, we took it out. Nice. 43. Realu. You got a shiny Ralts, a starter, and a Realu. You know what? Roselia can probably tank whenever it does anyway, so let's go for it. Oh, he's gonna rough me up. I hit with Leech Seed. Fury Swipes. Not today. No problem. Now we got Leech Seed active, so this is good. Rio Lu Lu Lu. You're, you're putting Uwu names into everything, chat. That's weird. I'm not gonna do the Uwu Bianca voice. Mostly because my throat can't take it after being sick last night. Unironically, though, whenever I do the Uwu Bianca voice, I have tell I have told people that it's like made them leave the stream, and I'm like, I find that funny. <laughs> I can't watch this. He's doing. He's talking in Uwu. No! How could I lose? You lost because I'm the main character. No matter how many real lose you got. Darn, I'm still not strong enough. Whatever, this won't hold me back. I'm telling you, don't get involved with Team Plasma. Next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. Okay, random punk girl. Oops. I like how she, she says, don't get involved with Team Plasma. Like, I'm sorry, was that my problem? That they attacked me? Was I supposed to just avoid them? They were gonna stand in place for an eternity until I fought them. This pig looks like it's flexing. This girl's just hanging out here. Was she also uh, getting involved with Team Plasma? Her name, Infer, doesn't really work because she has the water starter, though. Or wait, is that why she has the water starter? If you take the word no out of Inferno, then it becomes not Inferno anymore, like, which is the opposite is water? I'm reaching here, but it's stupid. I need to practice more as a Pokemon breeder. Please be my opponent. You could infer that. Oh ho ho ho. Pokemon breeder Robin. Igly buff. It's ugly. So let's kick it. Hey. One, two, four, and what's next? Only babies, it seems. Uh, even though you're paralyzed. You know what? I'll let Tim Pole do it. Fox got enough battling in at the gym. Doesn't look like I'm going back to the plane at Lentimus Town or whatever. So we go through Lost Lorne. I should probably take a look at the town map. Honestly, I forget the layout of Yanova all the time. Because I haven't I didn't play that one as much. Bro, that remind I don't even remember what Kalos and Alola look like, to be honest. Playing uh the difficulty hacks for those games is gonna feel like a whole new game in some ways. 
Most of what I remember from Kalos and Alola are just some of the trainers and character designs. Pokemon Breeder Robin used Jigglypuff. I should have gone back to Pignite, but I felt like bubbling the puff here. Growl. Nonsense. I'll take a couple bubble beams, but it's fine. Fairy Wind. Sometimes I forget that you are fairy type. Because you're paying it, oh, of course. That's annoying. But it's fine. It'll take a while to evolve into Palpitoad, but I've never used Seismitoad, so it could be fun. Is she called Infer because she's inferior? <laughs> now that's just a low blow. That's the type of thing that people, like, would call her in elementary school. I've still got a long way to go. I'll keep raising my Pokemon. Dude, that reminds me, though. Thank you so much. I learned a lot from our battle. Come talk to me if you want to battle again. Oh, it's because they're breeders they rebattle. Now I understand. Um, yeah, that reminds me. So, as many of you guys know, like, it's on screen. My name is Asprey. That's been my- that, obviously, that's been my name my entire life. But when I was in elementary school, I remember that, like, one of the, the way, uh, kid- one of the ways kids would, get, like, tease me is they would say my name was Asprey. Right? Because it sounds similar to that. Now, that was something in elementary school I dealt with, which is stu stupid, right? But every once in a while, I'll see a YouTube comment that unironically tries to, like, call me that as a way to own me. And I can only imagine, like, an eight-year-old at the computer typing that. And it's just really funny to me every time. There are trainers out on the road. It's a good place to train. Lost Thorn Forest is big. Don't get lost. It's a sign the person never grew up. Yeah, like, I don't, like, just elementary school, and then I'm close to being 30, and I see it again. I'm like, dude, what? <laughs> How can an adult be that lame? I don't know. How can this drill burst sound like Lugia? The internet commenters do tend to have the same maturity level. Yes, they do. Oh, boy. Flame wheel. One, two, two. I'm close to one at yeah, level 23. It's any Pokemon or Pokemon that live in the forest. Which do you prefer? Ugh. About to heck up a little bit. I'm good. Backpacker Bailey. Oh my goodness, they took away the backpacker's ponytail so that her sprite would fit. Am I seeing that right? Or is that a different one? Because that upsets me. You can't take ponytails off character designs. That's illegal here. You heard Delibird, but now you hear Lugia. Oh, you're right. Delibird does kind of have, like, the same bass sound for its cry, doesn't it? Oh, I can't unhear that. I suppose I could use Rollout. Some situations. Better than Tackle. I have Stab Double Kick now. Meditite. Nah, it's just best to let the pig do it. I can go back to the breeders for, like, extra battles at some point. Mock Punch. I didn't realize Meditite got that. The menu sprites are very nice. Flame wheel. Three, three, one. Backpacker Bailey defeated. I love both kinds of Pokemon, but I don't like losing. You have a ponytail in your overworld sprite, but you don't have it in your battle sprite. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Ah, uh, should be fine. A spot of greenery growing right next to a big city. It's truly an oasis. I feel so refreshed. And now I'd like to battle. This does lead to, um, what's the name of the city? The one that had the, uh, electric girl? Bobby. I think that's where I am. I keep forgetting to check the town map between battles. Nimbasa, thank you. 
Yono. No, that's Scarlet and Violet. Now that you mention it, though, it seems the Electric Gym Leader girls end up being the ones with the over-the-top designs, don't they? You got Lieutenant Surge, who's just buff American guy. Then you got Elsia, or Lissa. I don't know, no matter how I say it, people get mad. <laughs> then, um... Then there's just Yono, who's basically a VTuber. Double kick. Okay. On the subject of Yono, I know that she has, like, a full illustration Pokemon card that's apparently pretty valuable right now. I think it's gone down a little bit. It's in the Paldia Evolved set, which I have some unopened stuff of. Kind of hoping I can pull it. Because I need it for my binder. And I don't want to pay, like, $100 Canadian to get, order the single for it. Perfect. There we go. Ooh, it no longer feels like an oasis if I lose. Tiny Mushroom. People either love Iono or they think she's cringe. I know Mina thinks cringe. Oh, I recognize where I am now. Oh, this route. Yeah, I can remember it now. Hang on. Let me check the town map. Imbasa City, Lost Lorn Forest. Okay, so yeah, we've kind of just come from the top right corner, slowly inching towards the middle. Probably a double battle here. Roselia is fine up front. Hang on, I want to get to the center first. Curious how they made the city look. Am I gonna meet the goth girl again and she's gonna like ride the Ferris wheel with me? This looks really nice. Dang. There's a Pokemon everywhere apparently. Uh, I'm gonna have to check what that's about soon. TM shop. Oh, okay, so instead of the sport facilities, they just kind of spread out like a shopping center. That makes sense using considering Gen 2's limitations. It would be kind of arbitrary to just include all the sports stadium stuff. Red Shard. It's the battle subway. Subway station ahead. Can probably go to that one extra town. I'm gonna have to talk to everybody. You are torn because you like Yono because she's cringe. She don't think she's really that cringe. She got the cool color scheme. She got the teeth that looks like she'll bite my finger off. Have you found any colored shards around? I hear there's a place in Driftvale City where you can trade them for something good. This is my Pokemon Trubbish. I caught it in Route 16. It may be trash, but it's my special trash. The man at the house rates your Pokemon names. He can even rename your Pokemon. So this guy's the name raider. What's the back door for? Hello, I'm the name raider. I rate the Pokemon names of Pokemon. This is like my I this is like my bedroom right here. It's just a computer. And to the left is just the bed, and there's a shelf between it. This section right here just perfectly mirrors me, except the plant. I got no need for that crap. The door to the stairwell is closed. So I guess the other apartments are off limits. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? You seem like the kind of trainer who is kind to your Pokemon. Here, have this. Ooh, okay. Friendship Evos will be easier. Give that bell to your Pokemon, and it will make them happier. We already evolved Badoo, of course. Hmm. What if all, all the colored shards in older games are secretly Terra shards, but we didn't know it yet? Ooh. Would that explain why they're so valuable? That'd be pretty funny. I like that headcanon. Hang on, what's this one do? Vitamin Mart. Well... I don't know if I have the money for that. Plants take up space and can be used for gaming. We can see what TMs are avail available. This is a casual run, so you don't really need to buy vitamins. What is with your sprite? 
Why does it look like you're wearing a Sonic the Hedgehog costume? God, I bet all of you wish you could unhear that. There sure are to be TMs that are just perfect for your Pokemon. Hi, Lieutenant Surge, that is bald. I love strong Pokemon. I want to use TMs to make my Pokemon stronger. Reflect, Light Screen, Protect, Bulldoze. Bulldoze, hmm? Thunder Wave, okay. These aren't too bad for this point in the game. Um, Bulldoze would probably, Palpitoad would probably learn that on its own. Let's be real. I don't think I need to buy it. They're pricey, yeah. I don't think I need to get them at the moment. What's this one? Pokeball shop. Uh, I could get some Pokeballs. Different kinds of Pokeballs are good for different situations. Use the best ball for the job. Net balls are good for catching bug and water type Pokemon. Make sure to talk to everybody for good stuff. Heavy ball. Okay, so you sell Kurt balls. Uh, a few more quick balls would be okay. Hang on, friend ball. So, friend ball is basically just luxury ball, right? Dusk ball, repeat ball, level ball, love ball. Get all the Kirk balls right here. It's a grinder's, um, frickin' dream. Paradise. Let's buy ten quick balls for the road. Okay, now let's... Hang on, there's still trainers to fight back here. We've taken a little look around the city, so let's go do some more of this. Hang on, this is Gen 5 Biker Girl. Tingling, full speed attack, coming your way. Yep, there she is, Cyclist Leslie. Young me always did like the Unova Biker Girl. Look at that thing. Look at that goth Eda. What? Hey, you know what would be funny? Maybe Infer should have a Gothita, but she's probably gonna have Gardevoir. No, wait a second, I just realized. Sh Shiny Ralts? So it can Mega Evolve into the Black Dress Gardevoir. That's why she got it. She got a Goth Gardevoir. There we go. I'd say Google that to know what I'm talking about, but if I'm sure if you Google the words Goth Gardevoir, you'll be led to, um... Uh... Certain kinds of websites, let's say. <laughs> Clefairy. Uh, it's fairy type. I don't have a poison move yet. Pig Knight's honestly fine. Be back in a sec, don't you dare. No! Come on. Foresight. This Clefairy's an idiot. Considering it's a Clefairy, <laughs> that's a given. Twenty-four. Ah, Chantal went fine. Except the Spirit Tomb is a little scary. Tingling, tingling. What are you doing? That? What are you saying that for, girl? When people are running by, you can't help but stop and look at them. Yeah, I guess. Quick Claw. That could be useful in some battles. Tomorrow will be a home run. Gardevoir is a great Pokemon as long as you forget Alakazam exists. Well, if you're playing a lot of Pokemon games, uh, Alakazam can't exist without a link cable, so Gardevoir is best option in Hoenn. You can get Abra from Granite Cave. Excellent. I don't even need to use Rollout. Stab Flame Wheel would be good. Alan Fredo. <laughs> Was that their name? Okay. Goth du Dubois. <laughs> I'm struggling to say it. Goth du Dubois sounds like it'd be like a username that's been taken for like 20 years. I can't even say it without like biting my tongue. You know, it's fine. Keep it in. I mean, Gardevoir getting, um. Getting fairy typing helps se separate it from Alakazam. That's for sure. Water pulse. Can't wait for Spa and Getty. Could be names too, why not? 
super effective. The duck is down. Farewell, you won. Your Pokemon certainly have what it takes. See, there's a lot of Pokemon throughout the whole series that, um, they usually just kind of end up doing the same thing as another Pokemon. I feel like uh, the idea of abilities in Gen 3 was to kind of, like, change that up, right? Abilities help separate some Pokemon from each other, but then they give some Pokemon, like, dumb throwaway abilities and they're just garbage. There's a Trubbish. I don't want it. I should put someone else up front now. Get it. Burn the trash. Trubbish heard garbage and thought you were talking to her. <laughs> um... I could let Tim Pole do this for a little bit, because I want to get Palpitoad. Palpitoad's hideous, but it's stronger until we get Seismitoad. They gave Gardevoir the same ability as Alakazam in Gen 3 before it gained Fairy-type. It wasn't that distinct. Yeah. Hold up. There was just a rare candy up here, but I wonder if there's, like, anything hidden? A grotto? It doesn't look like you can check grottos from the side. Oh, there's Goth. Uh... I wonder. I don't really have a psychic coverage. Maybe I should catch one of these or the jelly thing. I've never really used uh, the goth Pokemon all the way through. Hang on a second. Which one was, um... Which one was what? Was it white version that had the jelly and black version that had this? Critical hits. It's only had the black version, so I don't remember which one was the exclusive. Black Hat, Gothita, I guess I just never used it. Isn't Jelly the better one? Probably. Growl. Because I'm just trying to think, when it comes to special Pokémon, I'm only gonna have, really, Roselia in the long run. And I'm trying to think of the Innovamons that I haven't used before. So, maybe this could be an opportunity. I was gonna run Gengar earlier, but now that I got the Zoroark, it's probably better. The Zoroark's probably gonna be more physical in the long run. Gothita's whole line is Psychic, right? It's not Dark-type as well? You're Psychic, okay. On the subject of three-stage, uh, psychic types, what separates, uh, Gothitelle from the Alakazam and Gardevoir? Fixation. The ribbon-like feelers focus its psychic powers. Gothita is always staring intensely at something. You can get Shadow Tag. Okay, so just now, see, that opens up, an, uh, some kind of strategies, competitive-wise, I guess. That can separate it. Okay, it got sent to the PC. Guess we'll also see what's in the egg. I mean, Timpole and Zorua can be mixed attackers, so they can have some coverage. But primarily, I want Seismitoad's Earthquake, and it could use Stab Surf to hit strong enough. Roselia is definitely special focused, but I feel like Psychic type would be a good, like, rounded team member to have as well. It's also more defensive than Gardevoir. Okay. Use cut? Yes. Let me run into one more thing here. I want to see what else is here. Oh, there's the jelly. I think I used the jelly before, didn't I? I think it- was it in, um... I think it was in Blazing Emerald. There's, um... There's a regional variant where the jelly is essentially, like, berry juice. And the, the jelly blob was shaped like a citrus berry. Yeah, be healed. Look at that. I think the new version of Blazing Emerald added, like, a different form for all the, um, Reuniclus, where every, every one of them looks like a different berry with its jelly. Oh, that's TM, I think. But I'm riding my bicycle. Don't you think I look stronger? 
Solos is tanky but slow, yeah. Cyclist Bruno would like to battle. He's got a puppy. I got the perfect lead for this, too. Wait, isn't this path supposed to continue to the right into something? Where did it go in vanilla, uh, black and white one? I can't recall. The bridge. Uh, which, which bridge was that? Because I feel like there's a couple different bridges. <laughs> Cyclist Bruno was defeated. The cool breeze in my face. The one to Drift Vale. I thought Drift Vale was towards this direction. Sunny day? Okay, we'll take it. Hold up, let me... Black City or White Forest. Okay, I didn't see those on the map, so I think they're just not here. According to the map... Yeah, it looks like there's nothing to the right here in this game. What is the location down there? This is... Wellspring Cave. Okay, so yeah, this is just the area where Black and White 1 starts, so there's nothing here to go to. There's like four bridges in, you know, but yeah. Let's head back now. I can never remember what's different in black and white too, either. Like, I, I just don't have enough experience playing those games specifically when I was young. Another reason I want to play like the Blaze Black or Volt White games, it'd be a good way for me to kind of just like get familiar with everything. So I'd be tracking down every Mon for the decks. Your Pokemon are fully healed. <laughs> I got in trouble for playing in the old park. Old park? Wait. Hang on. Mbasa Park. Hey, don't you know the park's dangerous? Go on, get out. Okay. So this place is closed down. Is it like a location where I can find ghost types or something later? Or is it just a team plasma base? There used to be a gym in the park in town. But ever since the gym leader, uh, Alyssa left for bigger and better things, the park has fallen into disrepair. She's probably an Elite Four member. There used to be a fun park in town, but it closed down. What do y'all do all day, then? Looks like that's it for this place. Now, the question is... Hang on, let me look at the town map once more. I can go south or to the west. Where does the game want me to go, though? One of these directions is for sure going to be blocked off until I do something in one of the other ones, so... Let's have a look. Route 4 ahead, passage to Castelia City. Well, that's, the third gym leader is Berg, so it's got to be this direction. So, construction's still going on here, huh? So, this has to be blocked off this way, right? Let's find out why. Yeah, the third gym leader is Berg. I should show this off if people missed it. You can see the badge order on this screen. The next two badges are Berg and Roxy. Then it's Charon, uh, what's-his-face, Skyla, and Drayden. I think that's his name. Skyla got an upgrade. Oh, hey, it's the little RVs. I love these. Man, if I knew how to drive and had the money, I would like the idea of just kind of, like, RVing across Canada for a summer. Unfortunately, with my job, I can't just kind of disappear for a few months now, can I? What if I brought my stream set up and I just recorded a bunch of stuff every night? Ooh, I'll, I'll st I need to stop. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna work myself to death with this mindset. Cooking with berries is very healthy. Even Pokemon love them. Here, have a berry for your Pokemon. Chesto Berry. How would I even upload gigantic VODs like that out there? I wouldn't. I'm back tomorrow for another berry. Turn around, and it's my turn. Turn around, and it's your turn. He's dancing. Dancer Eric wants to battle. Okay, he's got Magnemite. This is perfect for Mudshot. Hopefully Charon gives fly. We'll see. Ooh, that's good. 
Pharaoh Seed. Well, this is why you always want to carry a fire type in Unova. No fire type? Well, have fun. The way they did the highlights for this Pokemon looks really weird. It looks like it's fading away or is in, like, intense sunlight. I don't hate it, but it's very noticeably different from some of the other highlights. Wait, I just realized something. Clay isn't one of the, the gym leaders on the list. So, we don't, we don't get to battle Big Texas Man? Guess not. Let's send out you. What cry is that? You know what I found weird about Pokemon Legends? Why is it that clearly one of Clay's ancestors is there? It's, like, supposed to be, like, Japan of, like, hundreds or thousands of years ago. Probably hundreds. And there's just this random kid with a cowboy hat who's very clearly supposed to be Clay's ancestor. Well, Clay is Japanese technically, right? I think? Is that part of the lore that he came from, like, somewhere else and, like, struck, struck it rich? I don't know. Turn around, turn around, turn around some more. My Pokemon are masters of dance. You got some pretty sweet moves. How'd you like to have my phone number? You can call me whenever you want to meet up and have another dance. How about it? Nobody gives out phone numbers anymore. It's all about just, like, add me on Snap or Twitter. No one does that anymore, let's be real. Call me whenever you're feeling like Reuben. The last thing I want to do to anybody that's a football player. The last thing I want to do when I meet a stranger is tell them what my Twitter is. <laughs> oh. Nobody can beat my speed and fury. Check out football guy. Dang, that sprite looks pretty large. It fits in pretty nicely. It's like he's stuck in a, a box of the limited space that can fit the character there. Trubbish. Mudshot's been pretty good lately. It looks like Mud slapped the animation, though. I just want to get a drink, but it took too long. He's going for acid. What kind of trash is every Trubbish made out of? It can't be all the exact combination of trash for every one of them, right? Hit him with the acid. Once had a co-worker in the past that was really insistent for several months about uh, telling him the name of your Reddit account. It was really weird. They wanted to know your Reddit account. That's weird, yeah. I suppose I could learn Recover. I feel like I'm never going to use it, though, but I'm also never going to use the 55% Supersonic. That'd be a really weird thing if you work with someone and they're like, Hey, what's your Reddit account? I need to, I need to see all your post history right now. Like, no. Oh my god, you're a Redditor? Take my number. Recover can help stall with Leech Seed. Possibly. Tim Pole couldn't take a hit against that Spiritomb, though. Joltik. I'll just let Zorua do it. Joltik's so tiny. Hit it with Faint Attack. Yeah, I'll die in another one. Yuri Cutter. It'd be even weirder if someone said, give me your MySpace right now or else. Everyone hand it over. If you don't add me on MySpace, well, I hate you. I remember there was a point back when Facebook was a newer thing. I've lost. I'm such a loser. I'm glad you accept it. Oh, it's nighttime. Nice. Just hit 6 p.m. in game. Oh, wrong thing. Yeah, it did. Yeah, well, there was a point when I was younger where everybody, like, had to have each other's Facebook, or it was a problem. I can feel it in the air. This battle will be electrifying. Like, I think it was, like, when I was in middle school, or just getting into high school, when Facebook was, like, a new thing, and everybody was just adding everybody. Nowadays, no one really uses it anymore, I'm pretty sure. Well, most young people. They've moved on to other ones. But... Everyone was really pushy about it. Oh, come on. 
Oh well, he hit first, and it's super effective. Let's let Roselia do it now. It's one of those things, I, I realize I've gotten so old now that there's a lot of people that don't remember this stuff because they were just too young. Or probably in diapers at the time. Let's keep going. I've got Miracle Seed on, so it boosts the Mega Drain a little bit. Double kick, that's not gonna help you, bro. One more. Hit him with the Mega Drain. That's cool. 408. Hmm. Okay, little baby here. This is Tim Pole's dead. I gotta go back and heal it. I'll see if Zorua can kill it. Scam bots are still a thing. Oh yeah, I, I still like whenever I upload a video, um, I get immediate like bot comments trying to do those. I have to just manually delete them because they the spam filter doesn't even catch them anymore. Zoru is about to level up, so you know what? I'll just switch, let Pig Knight finish it off, and then I'll go back and heal. The egg still hasn't hatched, no. Not at all. I'll just double kick. The stab fighting will just finish it off. Oh, a crit. Two, two, three. I don't really see bots too much in, um... Oh, I should save, you're right. I don't see bots too much in chat anymore. Make a save. Every once in a while, a bot will pop into chat, but it's usually just... Bots on Twitch are different, because... Obviously, people just ban them instantly, because people aren't dumb, right? It's not like the comment section, where stuff can just sit there for hours until it's finally noticed. But usually, like, if you don't use Twitch and you only watch the VODs on YouTube, you don't usually see this, but... A lot of the times, there's these things called wannabe famous bots. What they do is... They just, like, randomly pop into different channels, and they post a message in a link being like, Hey, do you want to buy followers and viewers? Click on this this link right here, or something like that. And it's always so cringy to me. Because people actually do pay for those. <laughs> Somehow. Ooh. Imagine, like, you're just streaming, and it's doing so terribly, and you get a bot that's just like, Hey, want to buy viewers? And you're, and you're like... Yeah, you know what? I will. I'm tired of nobody watching anymore. Oh. There's nothing here. I already picked it. Friend ball. We saved these for Teddy Ursa's. I wonder if Teddy Ursa can be found in this game. I still don't even know. That's a jelly friend. By the way... Oh, hang on. Was that? Oh, it's a grotto. Should make a save again. We're all actually Twitch bots. What if all of you were just one person who made a thousand, like, bots just to convince me I'm famous? That would... Oh, it's an ether. Damn it! Keep hoping for something cool. Look at that. Everyone on the internet is a bot except for you. Exactly. Beep boop. They're all secretly robots. Who would have the time to manage that many accounts? A lot of people down there, but is there any more grottos? Darn it. Let's do it. I don't need to fight the Solosis. Probably could put Fox up front if there's only Psychic types in the grass here. Oh, I didn't take out the Goth uh, Pokemon yet, did I? Calcium. This is behind a register, so... I should go back and take her out so I can actually, like, train it. Oh, hey, it's Deerling! I'm assuming that only one Deerling sprite can be used, for obvious reasons. 
just a random shopping lane or bridge control room. I don't know. Well, you we can hit this here. Zorua used faint attack. Kill the thing quickly. I thought summer form was the uh, pink one. Or is pink the uh, spring form? I can't even remember, to be honest. Pink is spring? Okay, so green is the summer one. Deerling was a cool is a cool idea, but as soon as they abandoned the wet like the season gimmick, they were just like, yeah, we'll just use whatever one we feel like now. Has cherry blossoms for Japan. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I'm shocked. I need a cherry berry. Uh, maybe I should just pick up my ball and charge out of here. No one would doubt how wild I am then. Custom footballer sprite looks cool. I don't think I need cut anymore right now, so I can just go ditch that. I went up to see why this that area is blocked off, but I guess we can just beat up the trainers for now before we move on. I still have this egg. It's holding an item. So quick question, what level does, th does this thing normally evolve? I think the final one's a trade evo, which means it just gotta level up and up in this hack. Spell tag? That's for ghost attacks. Uh, well, I guess it's nice that it comes with something. Special attacks at 20. We'll use it. I should probably see if the egg's actually even close to hatching. Let's do that. I'll put it at the bottom. Looks like it's about to. 32 and 41 for goth. Okay. Let's have a look around. Art is explosions. Life force colliding together. It's an artist. Artist George would like to battle. Mmm, okay. Oh, that's a nice looking back sprite for it. Anyways, I wish I had like a poison move for Roselia for situations like this, but we got Pig Knight. My team is slowly getting more variety with what it can do. Oh, you're switching. Oh, that's annoying. I lose the EXP for you now. Okay. By the way, I think I mentioned this in like a few streams ago, but I was thinking about this again because it was so funny. Did you guys hear about that dude who was on like the reality TV show that was bragging about how he uh, was highly ranked in Pokemon Showdown? This, this was like going around the other week and everybody found it so funny. If you didn't hear about this, I think it's one of those... It was like Love is Blind, wasn't it? There was a dude, like, bragging to, like, his, uh, fiancé on the show that he was really good at Pokemon Showdown and he had a high rank. And people online actually looked him up and he was extremely low ranked. And everyone just made fun of him because... He... I, he was bragging about being good at Pokemon. But that was really weird. Switch to Goth. Internet was roasting that dude for a little bit. I almost feel bad for him, but like, why would you brag about that? <laughs> Someone's gonna fact check you. Go, Roselia. Personally, I still find the weirdest thing about him was that he was actually on one of those shows, because those shows are just wild. I, like... What's the, the the concept of Love is Blind again? I think it's like people are getting married, but they never actually met in person or something. Go for it. Hey, sheep is dying. Married at first sight. Was that it? I feel like there's like five different shows with the same concept. I don't watch them. I've watched a few YouTube videos that go over some of the stupid stuff that happens in them, but... 
Never would sit down and like marathon that stuff myself. Artist George was defeated. I just got whitewashed there. There you go. Lost all every, everything off your palette. Asprey found revive. What about you? These Pokemon usually help me break, but today they'll help me battle you. They don't get paid? No, I'm pretty sure they get paid. I, I'm pretty sure if you appear on one of those reality TV shows, like, you have to sign a contract and you're paid for, like, you know, your time being filmed. I'm very sure of that. Why would anyone want to agree on to be on those shows otherwise? I'm sure the contracts are always designed in a way where it's uh, better for the, uh, the production crew. Okay, that didn't really work. I know people want their 15 minutes of fame, but I'm sorry, but, like, you don't have a camera crew following you around for, like, days or weeks inside your own house unless you're getting paid for it. Like, maybe a couple of people would fall for that, but you're not gonna have, like, like 12 seasons of a show of people doing that for free, I promise you. Excellent. There we go. Ninety-nine. Is Pig Knight gonna level up? Shroomish. Um, I think I should just keep in the pig. I hate that it's paralyzed though. I'm gonna have to go back and heal. Oof. Like. I mean, we don't know the specifics of the contracts, but th that's very intentional. Like, obviously, they keep that stuff under lock and key, because I'm sure if the general public got to look at that, they everyone would rip it apart for how unfair it is. Hang on. Usually, when you sign one of those nowadays, you're essentially, like, giving them the rights to edit things however they want. Because those shows are infamous for editing things to create a lot of drama that's just not there. I'm kind of surprised that reality TV is still, like, a thing that's so huge. I think I remember, like, it really taken off back when I was in middle school, and it's just kind of still been going. Battling is much more difficult than baking. I'm gonna go back and heal again. That's right. I mean, I don't watch TV either. Usually I just watch YouTube videos. But most people don't really watch TV anymore. But you can still see some stuff like that <laughs> through, like, uh... Because a lot of shows just upload crap to YouTube now. They know where the audience is at. Or it's probably all on, on some streaming service somewhere now. Oh! Dude! The step of walking out of the door hatched it. I've never seen that happen before. Uh, I guess we just learned that that actually counts as a real step, not just a load screen. Cool. Oh, it's a real low. Did I get that in the old version? Did I bother to hatch the egg with speed up? Give it a name to real low. Uh, I got- I already have Zorua, though. I can't have two of these things for some reason. I could give it the Soothe Bell. Uh, doesn't have any egg moves. Hmm. I already have a Fighting type, but being Steel type kind of balances out the- balances that out. I could go with it. Hmm. I mean, I've used Rilu in some playthroughs, but Lucario's just cool. I always thought he was awesome. Excellent. Hmm. Just looking at the team right now, is this what I want to run for to the end of the game? I'm using the Gothita, yeah. What else? Because Rilu can get, like, some good options, right? 
if I give it Aura Sphere as like a special fighting option, it's a backup from Pig Knight's fire and fighting. Yeah, I think I'll go with it. I'm gonna give it the Soothe Bell. I can always change my mind later. Not like I have to commit to anything. Oh, I already have a spell tag. That free one I got for with Gothita didn't really matter, huh? Okay, let's go. I always thought Shiny Lucario was cool. The golden one. There's still more Pokemon trainers to fight here. Yes. After watching a football game, we want to get rowdy ourselves. Oh, I just realized because I, it hatched in the city, I can't use the Crystal X point to increase its friendship. Oh, cheerleader girls. Backers May and June. I get it. I don't remember there, there being a cheerleader class in Gen 5. Did I just miss out on that? I feel disappointed in myself. Zorua. Doesn't affect me. They were in the sports stadiums. I only ever like, really saw the footballers and the um, baseball players. Gothita grew to level 13. Slowly getting there. Ralts. I'm gonna just send it, get, let Riolu get a couple levels. Okay, that's basically it's Sprite. Um, Riolu has the distinction where it has to, um... It has to evolve during the day with friendship, but I don't know if this game implements that, which is really weird. I think it has something to do with, like, the aura or whatever, but I don't care. Hit it with bubbles. Magical leaf. I guess I just never saw the cheerleader girls in, um, that. <laughs> in vanilla black and white. I feel cheated! Riolu grew level 7. Counter, you will never use that. Backers, May and June. Too rowdy. Look, they even have ponytails, too. I'm a heartbreaker. My name is- <gasps> It's Charles! Charles. You, you wish to challenge me? Pair to be heartbroken. I can't believe they brought him back! Amazing. Biker Charles. One of the funniest things I love about Black and White, too, is they have this random NPC whose name is Charles. They love to tell you- remind you his name is Charles. But Hugh's sister, who is an important story character for his whole motivation, does not have a name. She is just Hugh's sister and nothing else. And that is so funny to me. <laughs> oh, Pursuit? Bro, you're coughing! Oh, that's lame. Oh well. Get what I deserve. On the subject of, uh, sisters there, did you guys know that one of the newest Pokemon card sets, they have a full art illustration of, um, of Daisy? You know, like, Blue's sister? They, they've never actually called her, like, Daisy in, in a lot of official media until now, from what I understand. And they just gave her, like, a full art illustration and everything. That's pretty cool. I think it's in the Scarlet Violet 151 set. There's, like, a full art card of Bill, Daisy, and Erica. So get them all. Buy them all. No idea if they're expensive like Yono. Is he also gonna pursuit? I try just throwing Riolu out there. Daisy's Help is the name of the card. Yeah, like, that's the name of the card, but there's like, they have like special rare variants where like the, there's a big illustration that takes up the whole like size of the card. With the text still there. Um, now let's switch. Swoobat. Air cutter. Oh, 
Pokemon Company knew exactly what people wanted from those cards. That's why the three they picked for the full arts were Bill, <laughs> Daisy, and Erica. I don't know if Daisy really, you can really say she has any fans, though. In fact, how many of you right now even know who the hell I'm talking about when I say Daisy? I think Flame Wheel would still do more with Stab. Blue Sister gives you the town map and Fire and Leaf Green, and that's it. Literally who? Blue Sister. Daisy Oak. Fun fact in Fire and Leaf Green, after you beat the Elite Four, you can talk to her again and she can check the friendship levels of your Pokemon for you. Or no, sorry, she doesn't check friendship levels. She does like the Haircut Brother stuff from Gold and Silver and kind of boosts their friendship a little bit. A lot of people miss that. I didn't even know that was a thing until like earlier this year. Damn. I'm gonna get- I'm getting slaughtered by this Swoobat. This is really unfortunate. Oh boy. Please live. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I should have spent more money. Charles strikes again. I wasn't expecting a level 21, um, Swoobat here. I think she also does it in Heart Gold Soul Silver, which is also the only way to raise Feebas's beauty in that game. Really? Only between 15, uh, 15 o'clock and 16 o'clock per day, once per day. I never knew that. There's a way to raise Feebas's beauty in Heart Gold Soul Silver. Didn't that game already have uh, a new item for getting my low tick? That is very interesting there. I guess, yeah, there is a beauty stat to raise in Diamond and Pearl Platinum. Okay, Gen 5 have the item. Yeah, I never knew that. We're learning things about Daisy here. Maybe she does deserve a card. Okay, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna use a healing item on Tim Pole, because I don't want to lose all my money. I don't want to potion my way through battles, but I'm taking it easy. Prism scale is Gen 5. Yeah, that's the item. Let's see if we can do this now. I shouldn't have switched in Relu to start. Go for Bubble Beam. Yeah, Fire Red and Leaf Green just kind of like left out mechanics entirely. Like, there was no in-game timer, so it was impossible to evolve into Umbreon and Espeon. You had to trade them to Gen 3 to do it. Or sorry, Ho Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. Nice. Barrow Seed. Great. Well, this is a problem. I still got one more to take out. I can recover if needed, but... Can I lower your speed a bit more? Okay, he's doing Curse. I guess Mud Shot will probably end up doing more. His neutral damage. Okay, about the same, honestly. Maybe a teeny tiny bit more, depending on the rolls. This is really bad. If he hits me with a grass move, it's over. Uh-oh. Pharisee can't learn grass moves? I'll trust all of you on this. Remember, this is- I'm pretty sure this is Gen 7 movesets, though, so maybe it could. Why is it- is it just sitting there cursing at me? Yes, it is. <gasps> oh! Uh-oh-oh. Is his attack really that low? Damn. <laughs> Man went like plus five and I was- I had a heart attack there. What's its attack stat? One? I know it's only stage one rollout, but still, that was funny. Charles's heart, broken. You have defeated Charles, take this with you. A gift from Charles' heart. Oh, too bad it's not a shiny stone. 
I'm pretty sure it's Shiny Stone for Roselia, but I'm gonna double check to make sure. Who uses Dawn Stones again? Uh, Male Curlia and... Oh, God, I can't remember off the top of my head. Snow Runt, thank you. You need it for Frostlass. Are those the only two? Or am I forgetting one? Should just call it the Gender Stone, because you need gender-specific Pokemon for it. Excellent. You know what always bugged me about Gen 5? I know it's not, um... I know it's not the dev's fault, because it's more of a translation thing with the English names, but... It always bothered me how in Gen 4, they introduced a Pokemon called Dusk Noir, but they it didn't evolve by the Dusk Stone. And 100%, that's just because, you know, it, the Japanese names didn't use the word Dusk for it, so why would they? But it just seemed really unfitting. Sorry, buddy, the drawbridge is raised right now. I would call and ask for the bridge to be lowered, but the attendant in Driftvale City isn't answering my calls. I wonder if something's going on over there. I think it's called the Dark uh, Darkness Stone in Japanese. Okay. And is it is the Dawn Stone called the Light Stone then? To be fair, Dusk and Dawn Stones sound pretty cool. I don't think Dusk and Dawn sounds like something Pokemon will eventually make as like a version name, but. I think it's it's too similar to Sun and Moon at the moment, so maybe in the far-off future. But if they name them that, there's Dusk and Dawn, which is the horror games. I played Dusk the other week. I'm searching to see if any of the vendors left any of their stuff behind. Oh. Hello, dear. I sell inexpensive herbal medicine. They're good, but a bit bitter. Your Pokemon may not like them. Hee hee hee. Well, you don't want these. Pokemon Salt and Pepper. Hmm. Hang on. There's probably hidden items here. I'm gonna take a look. This'll pay off. You'll all see. You will all see. That dude's dialogue is definitely hinting that there's something hidden here. Okay, first two rows done. Let's go. I think this is like the, the shop avenue from Black and White 2, yeah. Okay. You'll all see. You'll all see. When I pick up a random shiny stone, I'll be laughing. I need you to get out of the way. Okay, nothing on that one. Found a candy. That certainly was worth it. Let's check the rest of the tiles now. did check that, yeah. This is working okay. Come on. Pokemon coffee and tea. Mmm, no about that. Did I talk to that lad up there? I don't think I did. Boop, boop, boop. Just gonna check everything. I found one. Is there really nothing else? Come on, buddy. Looks like there isn't. This place used to be a shopping center called Join Avenue, but after a few years, vendors started to leave. Now the place is abandoned. Yeah, I wonder why. People abandoned it as soon as the next game came out. Darn it. At least I found a rare candy. That was a good find. Thank you for the resub there, Foo. Appreciate it. The best Pokemon versions they could make is Pokemon Bold and Pokemon Brash. What? You're a trainer? Awesome. Let's go have a look here. I did heal at the center, I'm pretty sure. This is a regular Pokemon fan. He's got a swaddle. Watch out. Third version is belongs in the trash. That's right. Boop, 
bug bite. What is the what does brash even mean? I don't actually know. <laughs> I only know it because of the Squidward painting. Which I have that painting, by the way. My sister made me a replica of it for my birthday. Legit on a real canvas and everything. Pokefan Norm is about to send out Sandile. Hmm. I think it's another word for brave, uncompromising. What was the Pokemon? It was Sandile. I'm gonna use Gothita and switch it out. Good morning, good morning. Welcome, everybody. Wait, I'm saying morning, but it's like evening for me now. I'm streaming super late because I was like horribly sick last night. Sand attack. How about Pokemon Ted and Pokemon Frank? Mm, maybe. They'd make some good game design decisions. Ninety-nine. Oh well, time for my Pokemon to return. Pokemon just wait inside their Pokeballs until they're needed. Pokemon sure are convenient. Heck yeah. Now dance gracefully. Bring forth your beautiful moves. Let us perform, my lovely Pokemon. Well, thank you for the raid there, friend. I appreciate it. Look at that! Everyone spam bears. Especially since there's Clefairies on screen now. Drillbur! It's another mole. I hope this doesn't have Pursuit as well. Gothita is pretty weak. It really needs to, like, evolve once to be usable at the moment. It really does feel like that Gothita and Solosis should have been... You should have been able to catch them a little bit earlier in Unova. Because by the time you can get them, it's like they can't really do anything in the fights at that point. Metal Claw. I still think the best Pokemon version they can make is Pokemon Let's Go Teddy Ursa. If, they, if Game Freak weren't cowards, we'd have that right now. Peak Gaming is sitting on the table and they just refuse to make it. They have the tools. Mega Drain. The mole is down. One, two, six. It's getting there. Double Slap. You don't need Double Slap. That's terrible. Maybe down the line, someone will make a mod of Let's Go and add Johto. That could be cool. I know people are already making randomizers for some of the Switch games. Meryl is nothing, especially without an ability, so let me just send Gothita right back in. Bad ending is no Let's Go Johto. Normal ending is Let's Go Johto, but no Teddy Ursa cover. Best ending is Let's Go Teddy Ursa, and who even cares what the second Pokemon is? If it's Let's Go Cleffa, I will ban everyone in chat that buys that one. You tell me that you have that version, you are gone. <laughs> or Let's Go Fampy. Honestly, Fampy might work because it's the opposite to Teddy for version exclusive. That's right, Team Bears. Meryl recovered using a berry. Meryl's not gonna, not gonna be able to recover from this. Let's go, Meryl. No one really likes Meryl anymore. Even though they lost, my Pokemon are still cute. The best moon Pokemon is Teddy Ursa. We all know that. Heavy Ball. What's a kid like you doing around these parts? Can I go to the, um, the desert place? Policeman Rudy. You know, the desert that's right next to New York City? Everyone knows that one. Hey, can any New Yorkers confirm? Are you guys allowed to go to the ancient Egyptian ruins there? Sino Temple. Hole. 
bite. Bubbles. Houndour's a little friend, but he gotta go. You're there right now. Isn't it amazing? New York definitely has ancient desert ruins with two destroyed castles. That's certainly not too on the nose there. Um, send in Gothita and switch to Pig Knight and double kick. Look at that puppy. Send in the pig. I got Riolu, but Riolu's a baby Pokemon, so it can't do much. Give it a kick. Well... Ore is also based on America, but Yanova is specifically based around New York City and the a surrounding area. Ore is based on the Arizona desert, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, both of those are on the complete opposite sides of America, right? I don't know. I'm Canadian. I don't have anywhere memorized about uh, the U.S. opposite sides. Yeah, they're pretty far away then. To have bested an officer like me, what kind of a kid are you? I could get on a boat right now and be in New York in a, in a few hours. Probably less time than that. But if I wanted to go to Arizona, I'd probably have to get on a plane for a good while. Alola is also Hawaii, which is also America. I'll switch here. I want to see what's up here. Oh, not again. I lived. Drain. Ore doesn't even have wild Pokemon. Well, XD establishes they come back a little bit, but... Not a whole lot of Pokemon on that side of the world. Ore specifically has weird character names as well, to emphasize how, like, far away it is from regular Pokemon areas. Still gotta do, like, some of those, like, mods and randos for those games. I used to go to visit Relic Castle in the desert. The sand has gotten so thick, the castle's nearly buried. Preservation here is terrible. Desert Resort keeps growing every year. Make sure you're prepared. I'm a nurse, but I'm also a Pokemon trainer. You can defeat me in battle, I'll heal your Pokemon. Now, this is a very very small complaint that but once i point this out to you you're all gonna agree with me now why wouldn't for the the nurse sprite just use the nurse joy sprite instead they just took buena and they made her red i know this is a nitpick and it's really silly for, of me but i feel like it, the answer was right there and it bothers me slightly nurse valerie wants to battle Samuna. Oh, Sandstorm's active. That's annoying. Send in the Zorua. Maybe just consistency. I mean, the doctors just use the scientist sprite, which makes sen no, enough sense, I guess. Limitations and all that. Sand attack is active on the side. She doesn't have a little hat. How can you be a nurse if you don't have the little hat? Are you even a real nurse if you don't have it? Come on. Oh good, it's eaten. Muna doesn't deserve food, it deserves death. One, one, one. Meditite. Hmm. Meditite also pursuits. I'm gonna just send in Rilu and then go to Pig Knight or something. We're not gonna be seeing many e evolutions today, I don't think. Maybe I could get close to Palpatode if I really push for it. Maybe I should have Palpatode before I go to uh, Berg. Honestly, I'm kind of curious how this game is gonna handle showing Castelia City. Because that location is gigantic. Obviously, they're gonna have to, like, cut it down a bit. I think they did a reasonable cut down for Nimbasa City. 
It looks still look pretty good. Karate chop. Critical hit. Flame wheel. Oh, come on, mock punch. Set the diaper thing on fire. Ten more levels. At least I'm pretty sure Embor is still at 36. Riyalu got that. 11. Fury swipes. Once again, Fury miss. Or if it does hit, it only hits two times. Nurse Valerie was defeated. At least she'll heal me. I'll restore your Pokemon back to health. Okay. Let's have a look around here before we leave. No matter how desperately I try to scoop up the sand, it flows through my hands. It's kind of sad somehow. Well, through the hands? I mean, wouldn't some sand just stay in your hands? Oh, no! This is why the sand falls through your hands, because you're you, you follower of the devil. Send in the strongest soldier and kick it. Look at it. Look at its stubby little arms and legs. Can't trust these things. Look at that. It tried to just sing me the devil's song. It tried to whisper se sweet secrets of the underworld to my ears to put me into an eternal sleep. Put it down. Kick! Oh, right, it's fairy type. I totally forgot that for some reason. <laughs> oh, it's trying to kiss me! Watch out. Set it on fire. Now it becomes the Cleffa in Fool's Gold. 69. Look at that. Audino. Ooh, this is a chance to get a lot of EXP. Uh, I'd rather give it to... Gothita. One of these days, I have to get, like, a Cleffa plush for my desk so I could just use it like a stress ball. <laughs> that would upset Mina. Now, this thing I can kick. Audino doesn't get Fairy-type. Or maybe it does when it Mega Evolves. I don't know. Audino also doesn't have a little hat, so how can it be a nurse either? I have a Moomin plush and a Teddy plush for moral support. Hang on. I can do a little stretch. Stretching's good for the back. Especially since I was up all night. Chansey doesn't have a hat. It does in the anime sometimes. Aha! Gotcha there. Ugh, but not really, no. I don't think any nurse Pokemon ha actually have a hat for their base designs. Does Audino get one in the anime? Well, Pokemons do have hats. I can't remember. Damn, that's a lot. Psybeam. Yeah, we'll take it. Get rid of Growl, I guess. Pikachu can wear hats sometimes. Pikachu's special, though. Victory slips away, just like the sand. Be careful, but never be afraid of the journey. Wise words. Uh, Miss Magius and Honchcrow. They technically have hats. Wait, do those- are those really hats, or are they, like, part of their skin? Oh, that's a creepy thought. Slow King technically has a hat. Starting a day ago, I decided to become a bad dude. Uh-oh. Looks like Mr. Nice Guy couldn't get a date and decided the girls needed to, uh... Girls only like the bad boys. <laughs> I'm gonna be a bad guy now. Gothita's leveling up. Remind me, what level does Gothita evolve? I can't remember. You know, the levels are so weird and forgettable to me. Tim Pole can do this. 32. Oh man, that'll take a while. Gothina would struggle to even fight a Trubbish right now. This is why no one uses one. <laughs> yeah. 
At least Timpole can do something once you get it going. But I really do need a Palpitoad soon. Hyper voice. Lucario would be neat. I mean, Lucario would be cooler to use than the Muppets, Bert and Ernie. Get bubble for your trouble. Get out of here, macaroni eyebrows. 139. Youngster Sven was defeated. I guess I can't just become a bad dude. It's tougher than it looks. Alright, he gave up on it. We sent him on the right path. I'm gonna go right back and heal you. I'm still only checking out this corner of the map so far. There could be a shiny stone here, so it's good to explore. Plus, the trainers will be weak if I come back later. So fighting them now is the best option. Oh, Trap Bench is here. That's cool. You could run an early Flygon if you wanted to. I'm gonna get Gothina to level 17 here. Going Bulldoze. Sandstorm Rages. Blah. Yeah, Adam. Probably can find Sandile here as well. I never really use Crocodile. Uh, I guess I can go in. But what else is here? More trainers. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Here, this may help you. Soft Sand. Okay. You can use this to power up Mudshot. Give this special sand to a Pokemon to hold, and its ground-type attacks will get stronger. It's definitely something. Soft sand. There we go. A red shard. I'm finding a lot of these. I wonder if there's hidden items around. Before I enter the ruins, there's more trainers. You want to know what I've got in my backpack? Why don't you try to beat me? Is he asking me to rob him? Backpacker Howard liked to battle. The sandstorm here is a little bit annoying for sure. Oh no, there's no abilities in this game. I'll take my chances and switch in. I don't think I've ever played a Gen 2 game that has abilities implemented yet. It stole the soft sand. I get that back at the end of the battle, right? I damn well better. Oh, if I could get my hands on Archeops, that would be real good. I don't know if its base stats were adjusted to account for that crap, though. Maractus. Let's send in Gothita and switch in Pig Knight. Gen 2 rules, you don't normally get to keep your item back. Oh, I really hope not. I don't think normally any vanilla trainers in Gen 2 have Thief, so you never have to deal with that, but ROM hacks, you can lose your crap. Synthesis. Flame wheel. It's Maractus. What's it gonna do? Bore me the death? I really hope I get my item back. Please tell me I get my item back. I'm not resetting. Oh, thank goodness they gave it to me back. They accounted for that. I'm real glad. Better make a save. I'm worried about crashes again. S 
super potion. A scorching desert, a passion for adventure, a heated battle. Ranger Sarah sent out Numel. I thought that Numel was shiny for a second. It has no, like, greenish hues to it. I guess it would look weird. Well, no problem. Tim Pole's almost dead, damn it. Bad switch in there, so I'll send him Pig Knight. It's a cheddar themed Numel. Yes, it is. Uh oh. Oh, never mind. No problem. If, if Archaeops is in the game, or sorry, Acrobatics is in the game, just put it on Archaeops and it will slaughter. Good god, would it? Yeah. You can check the Pokemon around here. I don't think you could find Archaeops in the wild. Maybe I have to, like, revive its fossil. I don't know. Liger. Hmm. Do this. Yeah, Archaeops only has a bad ability, specifically to balance its really high stats. So if there's no abilities in this game, then it becomes a freaking god with no downside. The whole reason Slack King has Truant is to stop it from just wreaking havoc. Like, Slack King is like, has higher stats than legendaries, but the whole, its ability is just meant to like, make it not able to attack every turn to balance that. As for why Regigigas has slow start, and it, your guess is as good as mine. They just, I don't think the devs like, even like Regigigas, that's the only explanation. <laughs> Even without slow start, Regigigas isn't that good, right? Eighteen. Regigigas has slow start to keep it as useless as the other Regis. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Hot, hot, hot! She talking about the pig? Or me? Whether it's hot or cold, there is no problem if you have passion. Should go back to the nurse again, I guess. And get the items. Numel! That's cool. I should probably just put Timpole up front and beat up some of the wild mons with Bubble Beam. Don't have Mystic Water. Heart scale. Okay, we're back here. Picking up as many items as I can, beating some extra trainers, because it's clear I need it. Oops. Oh, that's right. People pair, um, Weezing's neutralizing gas with Regigigas. I remember seeing that meme now. So Gliger's here. That means you could run early Gliscor. That's a cool idea. However, um, I guess Gliscor uses, like, Poison Heal, or I can't remember its other ability. I guess Gliscor doesn't really need its ability that badly. Hyper Cutter, yeah. Poison Heal's the hidden ability. Doesn't get that until Gen 5, right? The only Pokemon that gets Poison Heal in Gen 4 is- oh my god, hit this thing! Is, uh, Reloom, pretty sure. There you go. Just wanted to bubble beam that boy. Let's have a look around. Hey, look, it's Maractus. The dancing cactus friend that everyone loves. I will show you the harshness of the desert through a battle.
Ranger Jerome would like to battle. I kind of have most of my team pecked out, and I have a lot of lot in mind for coverage now, which is good. Like, Tim Pole can be a good, or sorry, Seismitoad can be a good, like, stab earthquake user, and its special should be good enough to spam Surf and when it ne I need water. There we go. I'm hoping this team will be a good balance for most of it. Damn it. Dwebble's defense went up. Thank there we go. Yeah, let me just down the rest of my drink. 22. Oh, your stats ain't great. Trap inch. Just send it out. Switching in the desert here is kind of annoying. I just realized Trap Inch ha sounds like it has Koalaba's uh, cry right there. Bubble Beam. I need to just move this out of the way. There we go. Oh, I can't even one-shot. Well, that's annoying. Let it hit me. Let it hit me. We're all we're all okay. Sandstorm rages. I'm slowly running out of trainers to fight here. There's still wild Pokemon I want to see. I should just use a super potion. I don't need to run back in the um to the nurse again. Beware of burns. Pokemon gets a burn. It also weakens physical attacks. I'll just run back to- oh, okay, it's right there. I thought it was further to the side. Let's see what's in the bottom part of the desert now. I'm really hoping I find a random shiny stone. I did find- I did get a random dawn stone. Uh, it was from the- uh, it was from the heartbreaker named Charles. Temple's pure water. Doesn't get ground type till it evolves. Green Shard. Hidden item. Okay. That's okay. We can take that for now. There's a sand dial. Where is it that they said you use the shards? I think an NPC... I think an NPC said something about Drift Veil. Is where you use them? For now, I'll just keep hoarding them and see what it gets me later. That's probably not going to be a wolf for a while, though. What's this? It's down here first. This looks suspicious. Like it could open. But I don't know. Okay, finding some rare candies. Probably gonna save these for, like, late game when I go to the Elite Four and stuff, maybe. You're strong, aren't you? It's tough when you know that before you even start the fight. It's a Hex Maniac. Foul toy. That foul toy is looking kind of large. I can't one-shot anything anymore. Temple's stats are just too garbage. It really needs to evolve. Being asleep is super lame. I'm gonna sit here and spam bubble for a little bit and hope it works out for me. I've still got water. I'm just sit here, sit here and sip on my water. Oh, I woke up. That's good. I was getting ready to sit there for a while. You mask. Hmm. It doesn't give much experience, as we established earlier. 
So we'll just hit it with Feint Attack. It should die in two of them. Yeah, we're at that awkward point in Pokemon games where most of your team is like... Yeah, like a handful of levels away from evolving, but you're not gonna get him there for a few more hours. At least we're slowly making progress towards it. This is terrible. Hoard all the rare candies for the end of the game. Glad I found that extra one at Join Avenue. Hmm, okay. Oh, I can't do anything to you. That's right, you can't. I like to play tag with my Pokemon that teleport. Okay. Sound quirky and lovable. Okay, all that's left is the middle of the desert now. I think there was still a trainer or two left. Or is that all of them? Oh, hang on. Didn't get this. Blue Shard. Don't think... Did I talk to you? Oh, there's something behind you. A desert is like one giant sandbox, right? So come on, let's let our Pokemon play. No ponytail in the backpacker. Baby. Okay, should be okay. Okay, okay, okay. I just keep saying that word over and over. Hmm. Ember's got nothing. Timpole, I believe, evolves at, uh, level 25. Backpacker does seem kind of wholesome, that's right. You're taking damage now, buddy. Okay, I went Fire Spin. Fire Spin was kind of, kind of became useless after Gen 1, didn't it? It's just kind of a move that exists now. Ah, oh, man, so close. Ella Kid, send it out and I'll switch. So far, Roselia has been a good counter for electric types. Having the typing to resist electric is pretty nice. Unfortunately, she hasn't been, like, super useful ever since the first gym. Like, she's still good, but her only attack is just Mega Drain. But once I get, like, stuff like Energy Ball and Sludge Bomb and Evolve to Rose Raid, it'll be a decent Pokemon. Definitely pretty weak in terms of physical attack, but Grass can still resist some good stuff. I need to get my brain out of the Kaizo mindset. In Kaizo, everything just has coverage for everything, so every type just feels bad outside of a few Pokemon. Double kick. Energy Ball should be in the game. I mean, there's been several Gen 5 moves so far. I don't see why many people are saying that there's only Gen 1 and 2 moves here. Sonic Boom? Um, that feels kind of worthless at this point. Maybe if it was a little later, but, or a little earlier. Since this is for play, whoever has the most fun wins. Oh, that's very wholesome. I think Alice deserves a teddy. Wild Numel appeared. Bubble. I, I think I'm just gonna bite the bullet and go for Palpitoad right now, because I'm probably gonna need it for the upcoming gym. Just a general Pokemon that can spam a stab move. Fresh water. Now, I think that might be everything for the overworld desert. Just go for the bubble beam. My Pokemon's levels aren't bad, but the gym leaders could be a little scary. Chantal's Pokemon from, like, two of them are garbage, but that spirit tomb was a beast. I only managed to win because I landed the Stun Spore before Roselia died. Oh. I don't think I fought you. Here's a Maractus. 
I know, I'm gonna go in the castle. I just want to get everything in the desert outside so far. My shiny head is a reflection of my fighting spirit. What, you're telling me you're, that there's nothing there? Is that what you're saying? Roughneck Horus wants to battle. This might be the last dude to fight here, yeah. See if there's trainers inside. I think the first time you go to Relic Castle, uh, you're not allowed to go very far in because there's a dude that's just like, ah, there's too much sand here right now, leave. Or something like that. Trap in, send it out. Sandstorm rages. Only a little bit of damage on that, no big deal, no big deal. Something like that, but you got a fossil there. D is that where you get a fossil? Okay. Remind remind me, which fossil is the one for Archeops? Hmm. Or Archon, I should say. Yep, do a quick quick stretch here. It's plume? Okay. I don't even remember what the other one is. I know that the turtle looks cool, but it's obviously not nearly as good as uh, Archon and Archeops. And there he goes. Now, is that everything here? Who's this dude? Turtle's more defensive. Yeah, but it's also w water um, rock, so... If a leaf even blows near it, it just has a heart attack and dies. <laughs> See you later, then. Catch you later, friend. Spam some bubbles. One more level, I think. Jeez, yeah, I can use better stats. Turtle can shell smash stuff. Oh, yeah, that is right. Um... The turtle got better in later gens because of that, didn't it? Caracosta? Caracosta? I can't remember its name, to be honest. I'm gonna go to the nurse, and then we're going to the castle now. Caracosta. Okay, and Turtoga. Ancient sea turtles. Top now. Yeah, that's definitely everything. We can go inside now. Relic Castle. Gotta revive. This won't work on the fossils, though. There's a hole. I will use my supernatural power to heal or help my Pokemon. A psychic trainer is looking a little different there. Psychic Felix. It's the Gen 2 Psychic with the Gen 5 outfit. Well, I know this thing dies easily. He just admitted to me that he's gonna cheat. That's right. That's not very wholesome. Ugh. Oh, how annoying. That'll take too long to die, so we'll send in Zorua. Safe switching option for Psychic types, at least. Oh, of course it went Leer. No big deal. I think next stream of this game, for sure, we'll start seeing uh, multiple Pokémon evolve. Honestly, it might not take too long to get Lucario. Remember how fast it took for uh, Badoo to evolve? And I gave it the Soothe Bell as well. Hold up. Speaking of which, I'll give it some levels right now. I can switch back to Zorua because it's Psychic. I think I really use Lucario in Gen 4 because you have to get the egg for Riolu way too late into the game. And, like, the fact that you get it as an egg also doesn't help because you have to spend time hatching it. If you get it at the town for, like, the sixth gym, and you have to go through all the entirety of that thing with Riley. Oh, that's right. Doesn't You can call your mom to check friendship here, can't you? 
Oh, it didn't get enough. Oh well. Wow, that's amazing. Come on. You're out of the service area. Well, I guess I can't do that here. There's people here. I guess I'll hop down this way. It's a dweeb! Slowly, 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 we're gonna get the horrific palpitoad. Roselia doesn't have uh, two colored roses because the Gen 2 palette makes that impossible. It just made them purple instead as a compromise. At least there's different Pokemon down here. Bubble Beam's got plenty of PP, so let's keep powering up. And it's 30-something for Seismitoad. When I am here, I feel like I might be crushed by sorrow. You there, let's have a bout. Oh, I thought it was a Hex Maniac. Psychic Sebi would like to battle. You look like you're, you don't have, like, a waist. You look like you're just legs, arms, and a head. Baltoy. Let's bubble. Wait, you're switching. How dare you. You're supposed to drown in sorrow. That Curlia looks unusually tall, too. Hmm, I don't want to die. I did get, just get a revive, but... You use a fairy move on me there. Hmm. Everyone's kind of weak to Curlia in some way now, huh? Whatever. Magical Leaf. It's always kind of weird how they have that. Is it because they're kind of green looking, so they get one grass attack? No idea. Yep, I knew this was coming. No problem. Good, they got no priority. Um, okay, Baltoy's coming back out. It could confusion Roselia, so I'll just let Tim pull blast it with bubbles. I'm not sure there's going to be another doctor down here. This location is going on for quite a while, considering, um, I didn't have to come over here, but if I came, if I wouldn't have done this now and came back later, it would just be like a bunch of two-week Pokemon, that's for sure. It's best to just do this now. Aw, oh, damn it. This isn't gonna get me the 25, but... Ooh, we're getting there. Got a potion, though. This bout, I will not forget about it. I got two potions to use up. So I'll just use them on Timpole. Super potions are the main thing I need now. can stop focusing on Timpole as soon as it evolves. Oh, that's good. Hello, thank you for the raid there, Citizen Roll. Now, have I been here yet? I'm already kind of lost. I have a general idea of where things are in Relic Castle, but it's been a while. I don't remember if anything is different in Black and White 2 as well. See a trainer there. Hang on, if I go in here... Oh, okay, this is an exit point, so let's look here first. My Psychic-type Pokémon just started making noises. Is that because we're in the ruins, or is it because of you? I mean, I'm used to people making weird noises when I walk nearby. Humans do that. They're weird. 
Ooh. What cry was that? Okay. Zorua should be okay here. I don't think Sigilith can actually use a fairy move. Okay, air cutter. This is stab, so... Oh, dude. Well, not safe to switch now. Go for a hit. Maybe I'll get a crit. Make a cry. Nope. Whirlwind! Uh-oh, this is gonna be a mess. This is gonna be a big mess. Oh, this is a big mess. <sighs> no matter who I switch into, it's gonna be rough now. I'm gonna go for it. Maybe it'll use... I don't know. Damn it. I was hoping it would whirlwind again and it would send me into something good. Damn it! Oh, it missed! It missed! Here's my chance, come on. I need this thing to die now. Oh, damn it, not enough. Yep. There goes my pig. Just survive the Psy Beam and finish it off. Just survive the Psy Beam and finish it off. Can I have Palpitoad now, please? I don't want it that badly, but... Ryu's leveling up. So strong, who are you? Oh, thank goodness. The ugly boil toad is here. Oh, it's bluish. Because of the, the color limitations. Almost kind of looks better with the bluish on it now. Instead of the weird flesh color. Party Sprite has the right colors, though. Look how happy it is to be hideous. The stat's got a little bit of a boost. Sadly, it still uh, has hi higher physical attack, and I don't have any physical attack moves. I could give it Dig now, to be fair. I could get rid of Bubble for Dig. The TMs are infinite use. Probably will learn Bulldoze soon, too, but Dig is, like, more of damage. Not able! Not able! Zorua can learn it, though. I guess I'll do that for that. My ground type can't learn dig. This is stupid. Well, bulldoze will be better anyway. What's this? Well, I didn't need that right now. Let's try the holes. Oh, that... Is that everything? I think that's everything I can do right now. Boil Toad. Hang on, I think it's fine to use Revive now. I've seen pretty much all the Mons here. Escape Rope when I'm done. So if I take this, it just... Okay, it goes to you. I've done everything I can here now. So... I guess we just leave. I didn't miss getting anything else, did I? I'm pretty sure I checked out all I could do currently in the castle. So let's go back to the nurse. Now I need to continue going down Route 4. I'm not sure will I get to Castelia. Depends on how long they decide this route needs to be. Hang on a 
a sec. Um, I could go back to Goth. I could also try calling Mom about Rielu. Hi, working hard? Let me see your palpitoad. It's friendly towards you. It looks sort of happy. Now be safe and have fun. Okay, it's only the lead Pokemon she checks. What's the tell- what's the dialogue for, um, the best one I need for evolution? Hi, working hard? Let me see your Riolu. It's friendly towards you. It looks sort of happy. Now be safe and have fun in your travels. So that's the same thing I just got for that. Let's have a look around. Battle Mew. This ain't no place for kids like you. Yeah, are these ruins or is this still a construction site? What even were they building? Roughneck Jeremy would like to battle. Skorupi's in this game. That's a good-looking sprite for it. Hope it doesn't pursuit. I will send in Pig. Level 15. Wait, weren't the levels a little higher at the deserts? They expect me to go back there later? One eighty-three. I don't think it's gonna evolve, but it'd be nice. Dwebel. I got Palpatoad for stuff like that now. You know what? I'll send in Gothita and switch to Palpatoad. Cause Gothita needs to level up too. remember what level Dwebble evolves. I'm not even really sure how useful its evolution is, because Bok... Uh, not Bok. Uh, Bug Rock type is already kind of taken by Shuckle, isn't it? Crustle. That was the same. Like, Krusty Castle. Skorupi again. Okay. This is fine. Sending Gothita. Crustle has the advantage of not being Shuckle. I mean, I guess, like, Crustle is just Shuckle if it had, like, others, not as much defense, but actual other stats. Because Shuckle is just purely all defense. Has one of the lowest attack stats ever. Oh, crap. I knew this would happen. Just hit him with Flame Wheel. Who gets Shell Smash? Does Armaldo and Anorith get that as well? I really don't know if... Oh, wait, you're... Oh, you're bringing them up because uh, they're also Rock Bug. I totally forgot about that. You're right. Just who are you? You look pretty timid. Can Armaldo really do anything? It kind of see always, to me, seemed like one of those Pokemon that exist, and people forgot about it until it got better moves in a later gen. Stylish Pokemon battle is starting now. Anorith isn't a water type, but they kind of... Oh, hello, lady. Lady Lacey wants to battle. The Fungus! Got it. Okay, switch that up. I'll send in the pig again. In Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Anorith and Armaldo stay at, like, the, uh, the friend area. Four water types, like, at the bottom of the ocean. Armaldo can teach Igglybuff. In, in that Mystery Dungeon special episode, yes, that's the only memorable thing Armaldo ever does. Fungus is on screen. Everybody make the joke. Armaldo gets Swift Swim. It does it seriously? That's so weird for it. Who wants to... Why would you use Armaldo on a Rain Dance team other than the double speed? I mean, I guess it would give you some variety, but... 
your opponent hits you on water move, you're just super dead. Had to make sure they give it away to die in one hit like most other rock types. Send in Relu again. Swift Swim would put its speed up to 90. Is that e That's not even that good, right? <laughs> I don't even know sometimes. Still wish I had a poison move. You know what? Zorua can get in there and do this. Zorua avoided the attack. I suppose most fossils are only part rock type because they're a fossil, right? So before they went, it, when it's extinct, they probably were part like water or something else. Maybe. Mega Drain that doesn't do a whole lot. I guess, yeah. When you think about it like that, I don't think the Galar fossils were a rock type though. Their whole gimmick was like. Kind of required them to not have rock type though, so it's whatever. What? It's over already? You're both strong and beautiful. I'm impressed. I'd like to see more of you. Give me your phone number. We can see each other again. What do you say? Now, if a random lady in the desert calls me beautiful and wants my number, I'm a sucker. I'll say yes to that. Who among you would say no? Thank you. Please don't hesitate to call me. Don't hesitate? No hesitation, she says. Just go talk to that person. Don't tell me what to do. Thank you. Please don't hesitate to call me. Asprey, no, it's a mirage. <laughs> God, I wish that were me. The X-Transceivers give me relationship advice. Well, here's a fire option if I didn't already have, uh, Ignite. Let's see if I can get a level. It's not really a thing most people do nowadays, right? No one really just goes up to a stranger and is like, uh, here, have my number. Well, I'm sure some people do. Not most in the circles I go to. Not like I'm a person that really goes out to bars and all that. Relu hit 14. It's happened to you before? Oh. Still a thing? Hold up. An ether. In the grocery store? Oh, that's a weird place for that to do that. <laughs> that's that's not the place I would want to be approached for people to be like, give me your number. You've been caught by a powerful hook, which is me. Most I've had with people approaching me at the grocery store has just been, like, getting- me getting complimented on my hair. Which happens a lot. Even ask Dylan, I think, like, uh, the last time we were at, like, the dentist together, when we both had our appointments at the same time, the first thing the receptionist said to me was like, Oh my god, I love your hair. I've had that happen quite a bit to me. Do I just have really nice hair? Yeah. My hair- I've been told my hair is really nice. Ah, oh, darn it. Roselia is too weak defensively here to deal with that. <sighs> what a pain. I'm not in a situation where I can really switch out easily. My hair is very long and it looks very good. I take care of it. Basculin hit with recoil. Kind of feels a bit stuffy after I stream, though, because I'm sitting in a room with the window closed with headphones on. Darn it. I was hoping it would, really hoping it would miss. I need to find a Pokemon Center. This dude's gonna kill me. Dude. Okay.
Perfect. If I could actually, like, stick to my plans of, like, building some muscle on my arms, I'd be I'd be out there looking pretty good with my long hair and muscles. Let me tell you. I have kind of fallen out of my gym routine, though, for a while. Like, once I had that injury back in spring, like, I just could not, like, get back into it for a while. And once you stop, it's hard to resume stuff like that. I'm gonna see it sneak... I'm gonna sneak past the trainers, because I, got, I gotta go heal a little bit. Okay. Oop. I think I have very thick hair. Yeah. Excellent. I've, I've often been asked when people compliment me on it, like, what's my secret? And I'm just like, shampoo? Conditioner? No, not in anything special. I guess I just have naturally, like, uh, good-looking hair here. Bubble beam. It kind of just barely hits my waist. My hair is that long. I won the hair lottery. Bro, one of the things I've started to somewhat dread... What is, what is that noise inside? Hold up a second. One of the things I've started to dread is, like, uh, <laughs> if my hair will eventually, like, fall out when I'm really old, much older. Luckily, I've had, like, no no sign of that. I've got good hair jeans. Hang on a second. I I need to see. Is, like, is there, like, a, something going on outside? Let me take off my headphones. Oh, it's just a dog, like, barking like crazy. Someone going by, walking their dog. I had to be sure, because I've had a few moments where, um, I'm, like, it's late at night, and there was, like, the... Someone in the neighborhood was having, like, a screaming match while someone was banging on their door. Didn't know what the hell that was about. Oh, this is it? Pretty short route. Hey, you must be Asprey. I'm on the professor... One of Professor Bell's aides. I came to give you this. Oh, nice. Yeah, I did do a little stretch. Don't worry. Item finder's useful. Use it to discover hidden items on the ground. Oh, boy. Catch my breath there. Welcome to Castelia City. Largest city in the Unova region. Let me heal. Professor Bianca. Hi, Asprey, it's me, Professor Bianca. Congratulations on making it to Castelia City. Castelia City is not too far from New Town, where my lab is. I was gonna ask you to stop by, but the Sky Arrow Bridge is down for construction. I have a nice gift for you, too. Anyway, a friend of mine is in the city. Keep an eye out for him. Talk to you later. Excellent. Castelia City. City of Grandor. This looks really nice so far. Look at this square. I wonder if the sewers are here. I just... I need a Pokemon Center first. That's what I want. Dude, you okay? What? Hey, I'm trying to sleep here. Take this and go away. Ah, TM rest. Very nice tile set for this, yeah. Game? Game Plaza, come play with us. Not right now. I just want to find the Pokemon Center first, please. There it is. I see an Audino. No hat, though. Gimme. Thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon are fully healed. Anyways, now, Berg, the gym leader, is so cool. His Pokemon are really tough, too. The Battle Company makes all kinds of products for Pokemon battling. Nimbasa City. Strange people in the abandoned park. Something's going on. I know it. I see the sewer entrance. When you just can't stand it anymore, try shouting at the open ocean. What did the ocean ever do to me? I don't think that was called for. Oh, I need to surf to get reach that. Okay. Can I... Nah, yeah, you definitely gotta surf to get to the sewer entrance. Ahoy there, young youngin. I've been looking for a shiny type of trinket they call a heart scale. They say you can fish them up, but I've been having no luck. You wouldn't have one you could spare, would ya? Sure. 
Hi, many thanks. Let me give you something for your trouble. It's just something I fished up here on the pier. Okay. That's not too bad. Water-type Pokemon seem to take a liking to that thing. Try letting it hold on to that. Palpitoad's got the soft sand right now. Waterstone. Castellia's Game Plaza has a great selection of prizes. I'm just no good at the game, so I never win anything. Is it like a game corner type place? This Sneasel is my partner. I wonder if it'll ever evolve. Maybe if it's holding a certain item. Welcome to the Castellia Game Plaza. You can play games upstairs and win prizes. Uh, what music is this? Also, I just realized I never entered the subway back at Nimbasa. I think I recognize this, but I can't put my finger on it. Gen 4 Game Corner. Okay. Prefer the slots in this game corner over the one in Burbank City. I feel like the odds are better somehow. If you like to travel, make sure you also visit your sister store, or our sister store in Burbank City. I'm raring to go play the slots again. It's gonna be a good day. I can feel it. I think this slot machine will pay out. Odds are the odds vary among machines. Yaha! The coins just keep popping out. Hmm? What kid? You wanna play? I'll share my luck with you. You don't have a coin case. How am I supposed to give you any coins? So if these are slots, I can't I can't play them. Like uh Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the Twitch rules say I'm not even allowed to show a slot, right? in a game. Like, even the, the poker game with Luigi and Mario Brothers DS is, is banned on Twitch now, right? <laughs> uh... Welcome! You may exchange your coins for fabulous prizes upstairs. Welcome to the game corner. You need some coins? Oh, you don't have a coin case for your coins. I don't think they care for Pokemon, but it, you never know. It's, it's The rules are rules. Earn coins and win fabulous prizes. I don't know, I remember they were making a big deal about it, like, a couple years ago. I've been eyeing that pincer in Heracross, but they're so expensive. Maybe if I had them, I could join Berg's gym. Welcome! We exchange your game coins for fabulous prizes. Oh, I can't even look at the prizes. I know pincer and Heracross are some. What else is up here? Sorry, the floors beyond here are for residents only. Welcome to the Castellia Plaza restaurant. We're sorry, you will need to make a reservation in advance if you'd like to be served. I went bust at the slots, I'm flat broke. Got frustrated and threw out my coin case at the docks. Oh, that's where I'll find it. Oh, your Pokemon are so darling. Here, you should have this. It's just perfect for such cute Pokemon. Okay. Maybe I should use the item finder to find the coin case. Teach your Pokemon that, and they will become irresistible. Oh, hi, you Pokemon trainer? My name's, uh, oh, it's you. I mean, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm an Amanita. However I say it fast. Pokemon store system here in Unova. I live in Striaton, Striaton City. Unova names are weird, but I travel to Castelia often for work. Listen, while I was working on the PC storage network here, a Pokemon suddenly came out from the PC. I've been keeping it, but I don't have time to care for it. I think it would be much happier with a trainer. Would you take it with you? Oh, you don't have room for another Pokemon. Darn it. Okay, let's go get the coin case, come back, see the prizes, and get that. Cool game corner, I guess. Hold up. Let me register it. She just said it came out of the PC. Does that mean it's Rotom? Guess we'll see. Oh, hang on. Never mind. I thought I checked all of these, but this one. Hang on, let me go deposit a Pokemon for now, just so we can see what it is. How would Rotom work for this? I think in, um... Black and White 2, or did one have it as well? There's like a shopping center that has a storage room with all the appliances. 
me just ditch the Relu for a moment. It looks like it's more of a ban on specific sites. Okay, so I guess it's fine to play the slots, but I'm not gonna bother anyway. I don't really care. Boop. What am I doing? I have the coin case. Let's have a look. Welcome! Litwick, Axew, and Heracross. Ooh. That Axew sounds a little tempting, not gonna lie. Welcome. We exchange your coins for prizes. What do you want? Ew! You can get Beldum. That's also not too bad. Dude, Beldum would be way better than Gothita. Oh, I'm kinda... I'm kinda tempted to replace the Gothita with Axew or Beldum. Mmm, I'd be giving up special coverage, kinda, but... Plaza restaurant. What am I doing? I'm not here for you. I'm here to get the free Pokemon. Give me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the thing. Haxorus would be really good over the long run. Ah, uh, okay. I wasn't- I wasn't expecting a Snivy! Level 10. Okay. It just kind of popped out of the PC. I already have a Grass-type, though. Don't need to double up on starters. Hmm. See, here's what I'm starting to think about for Gothita. If I use it, you know what's gonna happen? It, it's- I'm gonna use it for Psychic and literally nothing else. I'm gonna spam Psychic with it and it's just- Like, honestly, Lucario could probably pack- I could teach Lucario Psychic, it wouldn't be Stab, but he could have Special Aura Sphere as well for special coverage. I should get the coins from the NPCs as well. See if that'll help. Ha ha ha, the coins just keep popping out. You want to play? I'll share my luck with you. A single coin. Oh boy. It makes me feel good to do nice things for other people. Hmm, the odds are surely better for Pikachu's line, but what to do? If this is the machine I want. It cleaned me out yesterday, so I should pay out today. Oh, I, I feel so bad. No, that's, that's not healthy. Bro. Oh dear. I got a singular coin. Hang on, I needed a thousand, right? Welcome to the game corner. Okay. Looks like the coin case already had a little bit in it. Was it a thousand or ten thousand? I need to deposit the Snivy, though. It won't let me take it first. Okay, I'm gonna get the Axew. People seem to say, think that a Haxorus will be way better than, um, Gothitelle, and I'm inclined to agree. Because it's probably just gonna end up using nothing but Psychic, and then I'm gonna feel bad and... May as well ditch it while we can. Rip the Goth. I try to give it a chance, but it's... It doesn't evolve until, like, 30-something anyway. At least Axew can still do something until it evolves. And now we gotta put Snivy back in the PC. Let me get out Relu. It has spell tag. Or did the Snivy have an item? I don't think it did. Did it? I'm not gonna reset for a great one. We can just get whatever we get. Oh wait, went too high there. 
Oh, that is the wrong one. Come on, welcome, we exchange your game coins for prizes. Yeah, let's get a free Axew. Why is Heracross so much more exp expensive? Genuinely curious, who considers Heracross better than a an Axew? And why is Litwick 300? These tusks have a tendency to break, but each time they grow back, they become harder and stronger. have a look at it. Level 15. You're a dragon. It's a girl. Got dragon rage, dragon breath, pursuit. Definitely needs a better, uh, better moves. Special dragon moves not gonna do much right now. Okay, we'll take it. Gothita was level 18, so this is fine. Haxorus is also one of those Pokemon where, like, its ability is kind of whatever anyway, so not having an ability makes no difference. Wait, were you here before? This is the ferry to Fur Burbank City. If you got a ticket, go show it to the fellow inside. Ferry service to Burbank City, inquire inside. We'll soon set sail for Burbank. Are you coming on board? Yes. Sorry, but you don't have a ferry ticket. Mold Breaker's okay, but not necessary. Yeah. Okay, we're making progress. What's this? Battle Company. I don't need to go through that right now. Let me see. Uh, didn't Bianca say that the Sky Arrow Bridge was down? Passage into Crean City. I didn't get a fossil from the desert, so no Archeops. Be careful if you're planning to cross the Sky Arrow Bridge. Sorry, the Sky Arrow Bridge is closed to pedestrian traffic right now due to construction. Okay. Hmm. What about the other streets? Game Freak HQ. Sure, let's pop in. Game Freak isn't open right now. Come back later. I'm working on porting this game to the Polished Crystal Engine. They're not here. Office is closed for vacation. Inquire at the Kalos office for information. Well, all right. They're not there right now. What's this? Pokemon Massage Parlor. Hang on. This should give me friendship boost. No one's here. Welcome to the Castellia Massage Parlor. We can give one of your Pokemon a relaxing ma massage for just 500. Would you like to do that? Yeah, sure. Good thing I checked this. They're all done. Rilu looks a little happier. Did I miss a peer down there? Hang on, let me check. The one on the right side. Oh, there's a guy here. The sewers have flooded recently. It's just as well dangerous Pokemon have begun to come out of there. I wonder if there's a Victini Island person around. Should I change my Pokemon's moves or its held items? I don't know. Castellia Street. Back to the big plaza. To live surrounded by people, do you have to grow like everyone, or do you only have to like yourself? Whoa, that's too deep for a Pokemon game. When you're tired, you should rest. Don't force yourself to be energetic. Hey, I'm a streamer. That's literally my whole job. Gym Street. Okay, they're named like this. Narrow Alley. It's wonderful how the Pokemon and women here are so full of life. My mom says there are some Pokemon that evolve when you use stones on them. Some of them may not be what you expect. Try all of them. My mom has a Pokemon called Yanma. It's my favorite. She says if you're kind to it, it will turn into a stronger Pokemon. Okay, so move evolutions aren't programmed. If they're friendship evos now. What about you? I'll stretch and posture check here. I wonder what Castellia was like before it got this big. I think that's everybody. Hold up. Nope, item finder isn't responding. Nope. Anything hidden around here? Cause this is where he gives it to ya. 
Oh. Let's fight you now. Ah, that smell. My Pokemon here seems to say that you've got a dangerous smell about you. Okay, bro. Policeman Ernest would like to battle. It's that kind of smelly smell. That smelly smells dangerous. I didn't mean to have Roselia up front, but it looks like she's about to hit a level anyway. It looks like I'm nearing the three-hour mark, so this is a good stopping point soon. We just got ourselves a freaking Axew. I think that's going to be better in the long term. See, what I like about this team I have now is that in the long run, I feel like everybody will have a multiple moves instead of just one stab option. That's something that usually kind of happens to in too many playthroughs. Where you get a good Pokemon, but it ends up just doing one thing. And if it can't do that one thing, it just dies. Like Alakazam. You spam Psychic with it in Crystal Kaizo, and it just dies to one hit and everything else, because everyone cheats and has level 120 Pokemon. Magical Leaf. That is stronger than Mega Drain. I don't need growth anymore. Snubble. I'm gonna send out Riolu, because that uh, friendship buff I just gave it might actually help it evolve. It's been holding the Soothe Bell the whole time. You're level 19, though. Okay, I'm not gonna level up off this, that's for sure. I'm doubling up on fighting types, but Embor being firefighting and Lucario steel fighting is good enough difference. At least I think so. Critical hit. Oh, right. I, you're fairy type. I keep forgetting Snubble is fairy type now. Because the Gen 2 assets. My brain... I mean... Remembering that Snubble and Gramble became fairy type with Gen 6, it's just one of those things that I know is true at the back of my mind, but it's information I, my brain doesn't, like, care enough to remember. Because it's Snubble and Gramble. Who cares about them? Clay isn't even a gym leader. At least he's not on the list. So I don't think I'm fighting him. I see, your strength is certainly quite dangerous. Yeah, there's still a couple trainers here to fight. I'm gonna be taking a quick break shortly and switching games. We're only gonna play a little bit of, uh, Rune Factory tonight. Doesn't get much more wild than this, huh? Oh, boy. I started incredibly late because I was sick, so... I just want to record a little bit so I can edit it together with the last stream for a long VOD. Switch. Just go to Pal uh, Palpatoad here. Hmm. Take down. With a recoil. With that bubble beam. Maybe the Skitty line should have become fairy type. Because Skitty was just normal type cat. That's really what it was. Yeah, Roselia does only evolve with the shiny stone. That's what we're waiting for. Now, there's one other fisherman over here, right? But... Nope, no item finder. Check out my lively Pokémon, which I've gathered from all around Unova. I'm sure Jackson would like to battle. Remo Raid. I might be able to get a level off this guy. And let Roselia do something too, now that it has Magical Leap. Pretty sure Mega Drain's power is 40 and Magical Leap is 60. Oh, that's not good. Wait, wait, check the, uh... It seems they changed, uh, Roselia to Leaf Stone instead for this game. Oh, really? Okay. Did I... Do I have a Leaf Stone? I think I picked up a Water Stone. Now the question is, if I can evolve it, do I want to wait until it learns Energy Ball? Does it even learn Energy Ball? I don't know. 
Because I don't know if Gen 4 Stone Evos, like, cut their moves off. No. I'll let Zorua do it. Why not? I got a Water Stone from, uh, the pier not too long ago. Berg shouldn't be too hard at all, because I have Pignite. I could just Flame Wheel to Steamroll most of it. If they have any secondary types that work against Fire, like Dwebble or something, I can easily just use Palpitoad. Moment of truth. Is this enough friendship for the baby? Wait, no, it's date. It's nighttime, but I don't know if the game actually programmed it to act only evolve in the day anyway. Nope. Well, that's that. Remaining trainers have been beaten. Okay, I think I can guess where it is. Green shard. Don't think I have a leaf. We find out. Got Moon, Hardstone. No, I've got Dawn and Waterstone. There is a Leaf Stone hidden in Lost Lauren Forest. Okay, so I should go back there and look for that. If it, if this uses Gen 7 Learn sets, I should look up when Roselia learns Energy Ball, get it to that, and then evolve it to Rose Raid. I got the item finder now, so I could. It, it would be okay to backtrack for it. We can do that next time, though, because it looks like I just hit three hours. Hang on, this was the gym street, right? Where was the gym? Uh, did I miss it somewhere? No. Oh, there's four streets, silly me. Gym Street was the other one. Then what's this one over here? I want to take a look. Oh, this is the gym one. Silly me. I've been training out in the desert to take on the gym. See the gym, but what else is here? Just this. Roselia doesn't even get it naturally. You need a TM. Oh, then I don't think I even need to train it, do I? Okay, that's the gym right there. Honestly, if Sludge Bomb is also a TM option, then maybe I should just evolve it as soon as I get the Leaf Stone next time. It still fights okay now. Could eventually get Giga Drain naturally. That might be okay, depending on if, um, when it learns it. Anyways, I think I'll go ahead and hit save here. Because, again, I only got so much time tonight, so I wanted to get some Rune Factory in double save, because why not? But anyways, I hope you're all still enjoying this so far. This has been a fun little hack to play. Giga Drain should be 25. Okay. I'll just raise it to that then. Next episode, we can backtrack and get the, um, get the Leaf Stone. That should be good. The team is coming together, for sure. It's looking pretty nice. I'm having fun with this. Seems to be a good amount of Pokemon variety to play with. If you're watching on YouTube, this is where it stops. I hope you're all still enjoying this. The first stream in this did quite well. I had a lot of fun with it. But for now, have a good night. Bye-bye.